और गेस्ट टुडे इज मुकेश प्रसाद सिंह फॉर्नली नोन एज मुकरी हाथी चले अपने चाल कुत्ता वहाँ क्या जा स्थिति तनावपूर्ण नियंत्रण में वन हैज टू अप्रोच ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप एज अ करियर एंड नॉट एज वन शॉर्ट थिंग द बेस्ट थिंग्स इन लाइफ ऑफ फ्री इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोडक्ट द फ्यूचर क्रिएट वन I used to think for the longest period of time that a million is five zeros, and then Jeff asked the pop quiz, and that's right. That why is Lord Ganesha called as Ekdan? So he is teaching a story to his son about perseverance based on Indian mythology. That's right. Were we desperate to raise money? Absolutely, we were desperate to raise that money. But on the same note, I didn't want to like raise money on a bunch of lies that I didn't believe. That's right. Now, roti kapda makan ho chuka. Question is, ki roti mein kitna layer of butter hai? We use this phrase for India or from India. I think both are leveraging, you know, India for the. India strand if i look back at the 25 years probably if i look at what i was planning and what i did like probably a 15% of the jayak machine maybe 20% think your metric has been you know prioritizing satisfaction way above success success over the ball bade nahi bade we could write here hello i am mukesh pansal welcome to sparks Our guest today is Mukesh Prasad Singh, formerly known as Mukri. Mukri studied computer science at IIT Kanpur and later on went to MIT for his masters. Mukri has been around startups for last 25 years, both in Silicon Valley and in India. In between, he has had couple of large stints as well. In 2007, when Amazon was starting India, he was part of the core team that set the initial foundation. Later on, Mukri was CTO at Make My Trip when it was going public. In 2011, Mukri started his entrepreneurial journey by starting Zopnow. Zopnow was among the first few online e-commerce pioneers in the country. Mukri ran Zopnow successfully over next seven years. In 2018, he pivoted Zopnow into Zopsmart, which became a highly successful and profitable grocery SaaS company. Mukri is an avid marathoner who has run over 150 marathons. He continues to run four marathons nearly every year. But apart from his achievement, Mukri is known for his humble lifestyle, for his love of sports, and continuously learning and tinkering in creating new products, often just with his own hands. In this episode, we'll discuss many lessons Mukri learned from his entrepreneurial journey, various ups and downs he went through, and also how he navigated a very successful pivot under very difficult situation. We hear some wonderful anecdotes from his time at Amazon and also from his time in Silicon Valley. We talk about the roles of habits and rituals, which help. small thing compound over a long period of time we also deep dive into opportunities that are ahead of us in india and why mukri is super excited about many different projects in the coming decades it was a great fun conversation talking to a close friend i found lot of relevant insight and tools i am pretty sure you will get inspired listening to mukri's journey and find things that you will be able to apply in your own life hope you really enjoy this conversation mukri welcome thank you dr sir Excited glad, to have you here. Glad to be here. Like I'm doing this podcast for the first time, so I'm bound to make mistakes, but we'll learn along the way. I have known you for 30 years, but never got the opportunity to ask some questions. So today I'm going to like take the liberty to ask everything that I wanted to know about you. And Good. probably I'm guessing in front of camera you are going to be very truthful. Truthful? I'm not sure, but as long as the editor is along with me, I'm fine. Okay, but go ahead. No, all the editing team works for Spark, so I think we've got fully covered. I'm very curious, Mukri. I think you know, growing up in India. Going to IIT is like you know, you know, I did. You know, it's a and from there you managed to go to MIT, which is basically a dream. It was a dream for me, which obviously I could never fulfill or come close to. You went to MIT, and somehow you dropped out for a year. Why? How? So the it's, it's interesting. Like even uh, going to MIT was not a straightforward decision. So it's a as you rightly said, I grew up in like India. Within India, I grew up in Bihar, right? And Bihar, if you are like slightly good in studies. You are supposed to become an IAS officer, preferably a corrupt IAS officer. So the story of my life was when I got into IIT, right? The entire plan was what my parents expected me to do was, like many other relatives, become an IAS officer and then uh, mint some money, not the traditional way, but the right way of making money, kind of thing, right? So when I first uh, got the MIT fellowship, right? Interestingly, my parents are very against it, right? Despite the name MIT, right? They said, "Why MIT? Why don't you try the civil services so on and so forth?" Right? They think it's a Muzaffar Institute. Muzaffar. No, no, no. no. So, so thankfully, thankfully, right? My my father is an engineer. So he graduated from M M N R C Allahabad, right? So he knew MIT is a good college, so on and so forth. So that was the positive. But despite that, he was more 
along the lines that do you really want to go outside india isn't i guess the right thing to do so on and so forth thankfully he eventually like it took me almost a month to convince him i eventually convinced him that uh, i should go to us do my phd at mit so on and so forth kind of thing. and by the way i got straight admitted to the phd program so i was supposed to do a phd kind of thing, right so so that is how like getting in more than like applying and everything else like the home pressure was uh, the more interesting challenge this put it to handle kind of thing, right now when i got in right so this is like 97 right so uh, early days of internet everybody was making tons of money by either taking complete public or ipos or uh, uh, secondary so on and so forth kind of thing, right so so first year in boston like very interesting like in terms of phd i had one of the better phd's kind of thing, right so i was into quote and quote ai animation so on and so forth kind of thing, right and uh, but the real like reason to drop out was in some sense a very foolish one right so that time uh, my fellowship amount was like 1400 dollars per month which by the way for a student is quite nice kind of thing. so i used to live in uh, you have been to that house like we used to live in boston nice area of boston you are like uh, what 21 22 kind of thing all good things in life so 1400 was not bad but then you read that hey xyz at the age of 25 has become a millionaire by doing a startup so on and so forth kind of thing right so so that's in mary boss like iit mit boss i need to make that much money kind of thing right and here's the funny part right so growing up in india we are very used to the indian numeral system right hazar 10 lakh lakh matlab lakhpati was a big thing right so lakhpati crorepati like the crore pe my number system stopped at crore you know right so believe it or not right zoesis which was the first startup at do and i talk about that one right i used to think for the longest period of time that a million is five zeros you know right because kabhi million mein dekha hi nahi tha right so my father who was into st- working for a steel plant when i used to ask him ki boss what is your retirement plan so he says agar mere paas 10 lakh ho jayenge that's good enough with my graduate and pf 10 lakh ho jayenge that's good enough for me to retire kind of right so i said i'll be slightly more than him to ek crore kafi hai kind of right so for some reason like i always used to think that million is has five zeros in it not the six zeros kind of right so but i'm coming back to why dropping out of the college kind of thing right so all these guys were making money apparently millions of dollars which till i signed the shareholder agreement i didn't know that has six zeros i think le padhai chhod di ha paise ke liye padhai chhod di right so sir everybody was doing that so i said i'll do that one and the good thing was like sometimes like uh, while later in period in life like i don't think parachute is the right thing right so i might so technically i am on a sabbatical So MIT has this fantastic thing. You're still on sabbatical. I'm still on sabbatical. Uh, like so, or uh, you are Mukesh and Mukesh can go instead. Ah, that is. They'll be more than happy to finish it as long as I get the degree. I'm fine. So, so I took the sabbatical kind of thing, right? And uh, so, in some sense, the dropping out. At least I'm talking about the ninety eight period. Like when I was dropping out, I was like, "Boss, okay. If it doesn't work, then we will come back. I mean, like, what is the big deal about? Uh, I should go back and finish. Now, there is a time coming. No, you are not going to do it. Maybe instead of doing the PhD, uh, company may be a better idea. But, uh, but by, by the way, I just uh, I have one kid, and I joke around with him in case he goes to MIT, which. लुकिंग एज ए करंट रिपोर्ट का थोड़ा मुश्किल है बट इन केस तो इन केस ही गोस मे बी आई आई रिलू कर बट राइट नो आई नो एस्पिरेशन बट आंसर यू क्वेश्चन बट डायरेक्टली इट वॉज मोस्टली टू मेक मनी रिग्रेट नो तो ड्रॉपिंग आउट आई डोंट रिग्रेट रीजन बींग लाइक सो आई ड्रॉप आउट टू स्टार्ट ए कंपनी द कंपनी ने वॉज ओएस एस this was into interactive animation kind of thing right and i said right i dropped out because i wanted to make money right ironically that's the only company where i didn't make money right so, and that if you ask me was a fantastic lesson because uh, i strongly think i think it's innovators dilemma one of those books i think it's innovators dilemma right and it's technically related to question sir innovators dilemma so technically right and you can go and do do matlab you guys can check with your friends family so on and so forth right if you want to make money is always from a risk perspective perspective is always better to prepare for 2 or 3 months get to into an amazon or a microsoft or a google stick there for 15 years the value that you are going to create out of the stock values that you are going to get will be significantly better your life will be much easier i'm not saying to say better much easier kind of thing so financially you make more money than by doing three or four startups and hopefully one of the next no, so we have seen again and again i think people call it risk and just a reward yeah. so if you look at you know let's say the 5% probability of making million dollars exactly or 100% probability of making 100000 dollars which one is better right exactly, exactly. So you know so you 
मल्टीप्लाई द प्रोबेबिलिटी उतना तो मैं भी कर लेता नाइनटी एट में किताब पढ़ा नहीं था राइट सो नहीं पता था कि मिलियन में छः जीरोज है तो ड्रॉप आउट ऑफ दिस थे राइट एंड देन लाइव लाइक फोर ऑफ अस लाइक वन प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम सी एम यू आई वॉज फ्रॉम आई टी दे वॉज टू अदर पी एच डी फ्रॉम सी एम यू विस्थ दिस कंपनी कॉल एज राइट दिस वॉज एंड टू इंट्रैक्टिव एनिमेशन एंड प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट वॉज फैंटेस्टिक राइट लाइक हाउ डू आई यूज द वेल कम्पेयर टू लाइक आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नाइनटी एट राइट द सिलिकॉन ग्राफिक्स मशीन दैट वी हैड वॉज प्रॉब्लली लेस पावरफुल दैन द चीप एंड्रॉइड फोन दैट यू आर हैविंग राइट सो सो हाउ डू वी मेक एनिमेशन एंड वीडियो गेम में much faster using the limitations of those current so mukhi i think you know in this podcast we'll talk a lot about you know people who want to create outstanding impact and entrepreneurship will come up as a theme again and again because entrepreneurship is one vehicle for creating massive impact because there is scalability is kind of built in once you get the model right mm-hmm. you have you know pretty much been an entrepreneur most of your career you have done some large company jobs also do you think that 98 when you started you know first attempt at entrepreneurship Did you at that time realize that long term you want to be an entrepreneur, or is this a like journey of discovery and serendipity over a period of time? So short answer is not at ninety eight, but uh, a year down the line, right? When uh, so so it's just like just to close the story and and I'll come to the question, right? So we raised close to like ten million dollars, right? Which was a decent amount of money at that point of uh, of time, right? And uh, we were building great products uh, there is absolutely no doubt about that right like the product that we built was great right but none of us knew the dhanda sense right so 99 came so almost like a year down the line right we had a great product kind of thing and then uh, but given that there was 10 million dollars in the account right of which we probably spent maybe million maybe million and half kind of thing right? how much for for students taken one professor and four students was spent kind of thing right we are spending absolutely nothing on marketing anything like that right to bhk apartment you are building stuff like the typical garage startup that you can think uh, kind of right so uh, that time like 99 we i had a disconnect with the remaining three founders kind of right that hey i wanted the company to push for revenues and they wanted to run like a research lab like and then given that we had a good 9 million odd dollars like we didn't have to worry about runway the investors would have put in more so on and so forth kind of thing right uh, so at that point of time i had the option to again given that i was on a sabbatical to go back kind of thing uh but that was a time when the, when i would say the learning happened like i really liked what we were doing i really felt i was not sure about the impact part but at least as a person i felt that between going back and finishing a phd maybe another 3 4 years which which was fine like i was still like 22 23 kind of thing it's like uh, going back and finishing a phd versus like being in the startup world kind of thing creating an impact right so by 98 i was very clear while i still hadn't read uh, that uh, the innovators alma book kind of thing but i was very clear that less about the money but about the process of discovering yourself is there kind of thing right so i would say 98 and uh, maybe 99 beginning right i realized that at least for me uh this kind of ecosystem is really great to for me to understand myself kind of thing right because in a very comfortable environment right like uh, this is a typical salary guy right where you are getting salary at the first of the month kind of thing you never you never go out of your comfort zone right and if you never go out of your comfort zone right you will never realize like what kind of person are you in right so in theory like uh, uh, premchand is one of my favorite, uh, favorite author right so he says that manushya ke siddhant siddhant is principle okay ha manushya ke siddhant uski nij disha par nirbhar karta hai nij disha personal status pe the so so so, so let's assume i'll give you an example right uh let's assume you are very hungry right and there's a bakery shop in front of you right probably you're not going to steal right but let's assume along with you you have your two year old kid and the kid is very hungry now probably you're going to this thing and the kid is literally dying right you will definitely steal right so if you are this for for and right if you're not hungry right then you will say chori karna pap hai correct right mm-hmm. so the depending on your scenarios right if you are not hungry you will say chori karna pap hai if you are hungry then you will say ha but agar ko de raha to le leta hai and if your kid is hungry you will say chori karna theek hai then you start saying boss wo to ya galat tarike se paisa kamaya hai usse chori karna ye hai i'll become the robin hood son so forth right so that's what premchand says manushya ke ke siddhant uske nirdesha par nirbhar karta hai right and that is what at least i felt in like 99 when i said like hey this looks interesting because unlike uh, either doing a phd or joining a job or one of those things kind of thing right this is where i'll come up with uh, scenarios right wherein i'll be tested right and that 
will tell me who is the real me right so so 98 99 i would say post the zoesis a bit of a fiasco i wanted to go back to the world just to understand myself and then egan which was the second startup like i didn't uh, i was literally one of the early employees kar but before you go to egan this this company so you quit and moved to bay area or you guys shut down the company like what happened so it's it's it's, it's, it's interesting in the long run these are very interesting stories right so uh, again like uh, below like i was like 23 at eh, that time right right so i had a fight with the founders like uh, not a very ugly fight but uh, there are ages where in like and now in retrospect now i'm 47 right so now i can be more calm and mature about it so i should have handled that scenario mari ni marisha ke so us time like call the kun wala yeah so if you if you ask me right i think the point that i wanted to make had lots of logical this thing right that now we have sort of quote unquote a beta product let's test it out in the market let's understand what the market is saying we will improve our product so only let the iteration happen right with this argument i should have been able to convince them right i don't think i was matured enough to put across my argument in a, in a manner that they would have understood right so 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 technically i left the company the other three still continued kind of thing right and interestingly ironically whatever you call it kind of whatever th- again what we are building from a tech perspective is still valuable right like how do i make competition much faster right and kind of things like right so eventually the company did get some exit like 4 5 years back and I, so I, i was lying when i said i didn't make any money on that but it took me almost like what 25 27 years to get some return out of that right had we been more mature i would say we would have certainly created much 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 higher impact what took us like right? so yeah so in some sense there is a bit of regret in the way i handled the scenario this thing kind of thing but in some sense i also understood what kind of person i i just want to underline one you know key insight you mentioned you know which is obviously with age and maturity able to handle such things get better but this thing you talked about that you know with maturity you should have been able to convince other folks so i see it you know play out in most you know corporate situations entrepreneurial situations where you believe in something and you propose something most people initially will be lukewarm or won't like it and so on and you give up but if you are persistent with that and you figure out this way to attack or that way to attack and over a period of time you surprise you like that 12 people who seen that 12 angry man yeah. movie right it's like on day one all 11 guys are opposed to you but after a while you manage to turn if and i've seen it played again and again and i think it's just people and you know i use this principle i call it no means not now i can ask you something aap abhi no bol sakte ho but no one is stopping me to asking tomorrow and day after tomorrow and every time i can ask differently different emotions i can throw a tantrum i can persuade you with logic and so on i think i think this you know people underestimate that they give too much value to first no or first disagreement it has no meaning over a period of time so so we will come to that when especially when we come to the hold on to that thought about that persistent thing right so at least in the last 3 4 5 years whatever it's still persistent and consistent right are two different concepts bahut bar hota hai ki dono ko hum log lagta hai ki ye kar dete hai persistent will come to that in the zopsmart journey the one of my interesting learning is when you should be persistent and when you should be consistent right. but we'll come to that. sounds good so let's just you know now back pad a little bit see by the time 98 99 right. you are around 23 year old you've already taken some major decisions you know you dropped out of mit right. you started a company in those days and seen 10 million dollars huge amount of funding right. even there you managed to disagree with your co-founders and leave that right. all of this demonstrate you know massive risk taking ability right. what those risk you know impulsive or is there something in looking back now in your childhood like did you have some comfort with risk you know it's not easy to give up such prestigious things you know either a well funded startup or definitely not a mighty degree so where did the you know risk appetite for you come from so when it comes to the risk part right and and it goes let's put it like uh, let's go back a bit more back right and look at our childhood right, right? so when we were growing up right my father worked for a steel plant right and uh, This is Bukaro Steel, Bukaro Steel plant, right? So he was like, just like like, uh, if you look at Bukaro Steel plant, set of engineers and the kids, so on and so forth, kind of thing, right? A typical government job, kind of thing, right? So starting, and I don't know why, right? Starting grade sixth or maybe seventh, right? My father used to say, "Was four years old, matric ka pariksha hai, right? Means like a tenth, right? Matric is tenth, right? Ki tenth ka pariksha, padhai karna chalu kar do. I like six standard this day. So so throughout those. that like between standard 6 7 to standard 12 kind of thing i was under a very constant pressure right that uh, uh i have to study i have to study i have to study and the only two options 
I'm talking about early 90s, was either to become an engineer or a doctor kind of thing, right? My father wanted me to become a doctor and I was like dead against, uh, and this is stupid in some sense, right? Because for whatever reason, I didn't like biology and so on and so forth kind of thing. Thankfully, my sister, who is one year elder to me, became a doctor, so that was good. And you eventually married a doctor. I well. eventually married a doctor. So hopefully, my dad is not happy. <laughs> I think he is. But uh, so, so, so the, that six, seven year of pressure, right? Like, I, I, a part of me felt like I still had, had a fantastic childhood. Don't get me wrong. Like uh, this thing, but there was a constant six, seven year of pressure of doing well in academia, right? It was because of that pressure, right? I got into IIT. Otherwise, I don't think I would have spent like uh, well. I'm not sure about six to ten. But grade 11, 12, and I'm not kidding, right? Grade 11, 12, I studied for literally, like, I used to sleep for four hours. Uh, thankfully, I can manage with less amount of sleep. Play for two hours. So that leaves you with, like, 18 hours. Out of the 18 hours, I was studying for 16 hours, right? So 16 hours, like, uh, Resnik Halliday, I, Rudo, ML Khanna, name a book, PL, Sony, kind of thing. Well, 11th, I was done all the right? Kind of, right? And thankfully, it helped me to get a good J.E. rank, kind of, right? So I remember like I have a habit of writing. And when you're doing that, what was your motivation? Do you remember like was it some wanting to prove something or anger or motivation or just wanting to please your father? Like what what drove you? No, it was one thing else, fear. Like I don't think it was anger. I don't think it was anything else, right? The fear, like my father used to say, like look, and like and good for, for good for him, right? Like he said like uh, gardener the Ghasiara will come, right? And they say, hey, Mera, like I'll retire in like 2003 or 2004, some number like that, right? So, tab tak tum is ghar mein rahoge, theke? Tab tak khana milega. Uske baad tum 30-35 ke hoge, theke? Aur uske baad tumhare future wo ghasi aara hai, right? So, literally those six years, I used to think if I don't crack this exam, that is my future, right? So, the only reason to study was fear, right? The ghasi aara babu ka photo dekh kar ke I was like, boss, padhna hai, right? Like, wo dekho, resne kalde padho. I'm pretty sure you don't recommend that parenting style anymore. Uh, definitely not, definitely. But, but, look, look. For the, so all our parents were born like either just before independence or right after independence, right? So they went through a very tough time, right? For them, like the Rodi the Rodi Kapra Makan was there. For them, if I were them, like from that generation, I would have done exactly the same. Actually, I want to just talk about briefly, you know, that whole, you know, the the environment, 60s, 70s, 80s, which was environment of scarcity. The most ambitious thing one can do is find a government job. And job mil gaya, the life set away, right? And, you know, that India, now people are starting to forget. But in last 30 years, you know, with the liberalization, Indian economy doing so well and all of that, like the, you know, time of India is coming. Mm -hmm. But it was not like this until, you know, very recently. And part of that whole entire transformation that India has gone through, right? I mean, something I want to delve deeper into that topic, exactly what triggered the transformation of pre-liberalization India and post-liberalization India. Because a lot of, you know, I think that hangover is still maybe there. We don't realize it. But we are in a country of a you know, lot of, you know, that contradiction, even the opportunity that has happened in the 90s for us, only certain section of society. For right. larger section of society, is still similar. So I think that era of, you know, 70s, 80s, scarcity. Mm -hmm. I remember a lot of my relatives growing up and finding a job was the most important. Sometimes it will take five or ten years. Right. Oh, they you know? Bank PU ka exam look exactly. charta right? Right. So, so, in a nutshell, if you ask me, like, my personal goal, and we'll come to personal goal, right, is... While I was born in a developing country, my kid is born in a developing country, but my hope is that my grandson is born in a developed country, right? So if you ask me, like, what is the single line goal, kind of thing, right? While I certainly agree the world has become flat, so on and so forth, kind of thing, uh, I certainly want my grandkid to be born in a developed country, right? And for that, whatever needs to be done, I'll do that one. That's my job. Kind of and for your developed countries, 100 million people having great income or 1.4 billion people having great income? Well, between the two, certainly it will be 1.4 million, uh, uh, billion having great, great income, but... The definition of like, at least in my opinion, right? Uh, I won't necessarily equate uh, it to the income, right? Like, uh, and I won't also go very philosophical in terms of the happiness. It's about lifestyle and opportunity. Yeah. Exactly, it's, it's lifestyle opportunity. Have we created? Let's call it, for the lack of a better word, a mechanism. So it's not that the generation will end with my grandson, right? So have we created a mechanism, right, wherein that generation is planning to figure out what do I do for the next generation for their life to be better than another, right? So have we be, will we be successful in the next 50, 60 years to build up the ecosystem, right? So I strongly believe that uh, uh, there are two kinds of leaders, right? And, and we're we, we digressing, but we'll come back again, right? The job of it, there are two kinds of leader. One is the leader who drives the train, right? And second is the leader who lays the track, right? 
आई फील द बिटवीन द टू आई प्रेफर द सेकेंड सेट ऑफ लीडर राइट हु लेज द ट्रैक एंड नोज के बॉस फ्यूचर में आपको यहाँ जाना है राइट सो लेइंग द ट्रैक लाइक सो सो एंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन इज शॉर्ट लेन द थिंग लाइक मोर देन द मनी एंड एवरी थिंग इज आर वी एबल टू क्रिएट अ जनरेशन हु इज एडेप्ट एज लेइंग द ट्रैक हु कैन से हे दिस जनरेशन यहाँ पर है हंड्रेड ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन दे शुड बी हेयर एंड दिस इज द ट्रैक दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द ट्रैक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू ले एंड लेट दिस गाइज ड्राइव द ट्रेन टू दैट पर्ट एंड आई थिंक द चैलेंज फॉर इंडिया इज लेइंग द ट्रैक्स ट्रैक्स फॉर एन ऑफ पीपल बिकॉज यू नो we have you know in some ways the gap between people who have access to better life better lifestyle better opportunity is increasing but that's probably you know today or later to deeper days something you know as we i mean i, I agree with you in a larger you know, theme of our parents grew up in a poor india like it was undeveloped country you know to next to generation developing you know in fact now a very rapidly developing country right and hopefully we'll be a developed country but a lot of people might get left behind that's something to you know keep in mind but going back to okay so fear drove you initially fear and with that you landed in jay you got i think jay 21 you are rock star you know must be celebrity bokar is probably only town where you can get 21 i don't give koi puchega nahi right you don't talk about that so just to be uh, to give you right 21 as i said may look like a fantastic rank kind of thing right uh, but the year i did right uh, from bokaro we had in the top 100 it's a small town there are like 3 lakhs A four lakh odd people, right? There were six people in top hundred, and that included J E one, J E four, a very good friend, Neil Khan. I was twenty one, sixty three, sixty nine, ninety six, right? So maybe third item, third item, it's not maybe third. Then hold it, hold it. J E one. See, this is my house. Within the Wi-Fi network connection, that time we didn't have Wi-Fi. Literally two houses away, J E one was there. So if you think three neck ne, the community with acha, a kisi aaya, right? Ek to maha baatha hoti, as if like he was like your twenty one times uh, this day, right? But so, and that's an, an interesting that you brought that up because if I even if I go and revisit that one, so yeah, you're absolutely right, and I'm, I'm not joking, right? Even within that small lane of five houses, I was considered twenty one times weaker than <laughs> Tasun, right? Again, I don't have any shame, regret, anything like that, like. To me, like a twenty-one is a good enough rank. Who cares kind of thing, right? Uh, and that told me something about myself even at that age, right? So that day I was seventeen, probably, right? Ki I give a damn about people, right? Like don't get me in the wrong sense. Ki like, wo bolay na hathi chale apne chal kutta bhag kya jar, right? So I was very clear, boss. This is what I wanted. Ek kis aagya kind of thing. ठीक है. I'll get in like IIT Kanpur had like I wanted to go to IIT Kanpur. I knew CS had twenty-two seats, so. Uh, 21 is good enough even if the first 20 applies i'll still get it kind of thing right so so in that sense even that little incident did tell me something about myself kind of thing but answering your question in short definitely right forgot about the city even in the streets all value nahi tha ki 21 time you already asked me a very important point right i mean this is i think i know how having you know your neighbor getting j1 your father you know obsessing about education and the consequences like these are some of the external factors you know which play huge role in how we get inspired motivated like that initial trigger right because no matter how you ended up there but i think getting into i mean for you for me like getting into or funny any, anybody you know getting to it you know forget the rank forget the branch it's just it's a gateway to like huge number of opportunities and it's just you know so many random fact obviously people have to study hard and all of that but you know without that environment or those triggers or the inspiration for me in my case that inspiration came from a very close friend of mine he got into up board merit list in class 10th and i was nowhere i was like and he was a really really close friend and i was just crest fallen ki so matlab he is going everywhere mera to kuch nahi hua life mein and then like you next two years i was studied very hard you know and these are such random factors but i think the reason i'm bringing it up is even later in life that trigger or inspiration or motivation is you know very important you know because you can you cannot create impact unless you're clear about what you want to create impact for and just being watchful for where that initial trigger motivation coming from and just closing on that story right like and we'll come to the when you said talk about the zoe sister again this is right so when i got into iit like uh, not that i used to write i have a habit of uh, writing an annual report for myself and it's very fun right so how long have you been writing that almost like since 98 wow you have all those 25 i have all those 25 since so it's very fun right so i have this habit that uh, literally end of the year between christmas and uh, 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 and new year when things are literally like quiet so as to say kind of thing 
I look back at the last full year kind of thing and and uh, anything between 10 to 25 odd pages I write like about that year kind of thing, right? What I'm thinking and it's very interesting, right? Uh, to go back and see what you were thinking when you were like 24 kind of thing, right? To when you're 20, uh, 47 now kind of, kind of thing, right? So, and I strongly believe going back to this day, right? In Buddhism, they say, and even in Hinduism, they say, right? With every breath, you get a new life, kind of thing, right? So, well, interesting, like, like, and sometimes you feel, you know, that's, that's quite interesting. Sometimes you feel it's quite childish. So, but the, the 93 notes I clearly remember when I got into the J kind of thing, despite the 21 rank, ki now with this J, this thing, mujhe roti kapda makan nahi chochna, right? So, it's all about, and it's funny that you talk about the notes, right? Because the notes, uh, I, 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 what I wrote, wrote was, right? अब रोटी कपड़ा मकान हो चुका है क्वेश्चन इस की रोटी में कितना लेयर ऑफ बटर लेयर तो मतलब कि वो चीज अब हो गया है 20 साल में बटर छाने छोड़ दिया उसके बाद फिर थिंक ऑफ इट लाइक राइट सो कि उस रोटी के ऊपर कितना बटर एग्जैक्टली दैट वाज स्टेटमेंट राइट सब रोटी का अपना मकान इज हैंडल रोटी पे कितना बटर लेगा इज नॉट द क्वेश्चन कैन आई थिंक दिस वन आई जस्ट वांट टॉक अबाउट यू नो वन सिंपल बट वेरी पावरफुल टूल एंड लुक्स लाइक यू बीन काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिसिंग इट आई थिंक इन फैक्ट ऑलमोस्ट टू थिंग्स सम टाइम यू नो टॉक अबाउट इन राइटिंग आई कॉल इट 10 पेजेस फॉर नेक्स्ट 10 इयर्स but mm-hmm. basically means you know take some time it may take few days but write you know 5 to 10 page worth of content of how do you visualize in your next 5 or 10 years because the act of writing will make it real in your brain and it will inform a lot of choices you'll make you know subsequent years second thing is also you know the just the, the what you mentioned you know, every year in this you know last week of december taking one week off and reflecting on the year reflecting on the year that has gone by coming year long term i think that creates you know that creates a book end for the year and get a lot of self-awareness about are you in the right direction, what do you, changes you want to make. So I think people, you know, listening to this can think of adopting this. I think I do it something similar. Every year I reflect, write down, you know, my assessment of last year, whatever next year. And doing this consistently, I mean, in your case, you're doing over 25 years, right? I think that's extremely powerful, right? So that's one tool I'll re- recommend, you know, viewers listening to this. You know. Great to you guys. You have already two successful books and I know a few, few of them are coming out, but it's good. But so th- that's an important point in the sense that uh, and I like uh, uh, not that I'm too much on social media things like that. But uh, whenever I meet somebody, right? What is important is the art of planning. Yeah. Not necessarily the plan. Right. Mm. Rarely, right? Whether it's a business, like even if I look at the Zopno's option business, rarely, right? What you plan, eventual outcome will be like that. Whether it's business, personal life, so on and so forth, kind of thing, right? Even when I go back look at the notes, kind of thing, right? Like. What I find it incredible, and then I feel very happy about it. At least plan kiya tha. Both right? plan. If I look back at the twenty-five years, probably if I look at what I was planning and what I did, like probably a hundred percent of jagat match nahi maybe twenty percent pitch karna thi, right? So you can say that I'm a very poor planner karna thi. But I think if you are like, if your goals are like, uh, if you have really stretch go for yourself, even if I, I believe that twenty percent is good enough karna thi, right? So unless until like, if your goals are very st- very short to mutu, then I'm pretty sure he'll hit the this thing, right? So, but the important thing is the art of planning is more important than the plan. Right? The fact that you sat down and in your case, like sat, sitting down for months and writing a book kind of thing and so on and so forth kind of thing, that process, right, brings in so much discipline right? that uh, the end outcome really does not yeah, matter. Yeah, I think right? anything that you can figure out, any ritual that you can repeat consistently. In, in my case, you know, writing book boiled down to just showing up in front of a desk every day. For an hour, some days you will write 200 words, some day 500 words, some day 1000 words. But over 6-7 months, you know, you have 100,000 words, which is a book, right? So it's not a big deal. So doing this thing, you know, this reflection exercise on an annual basis, I think an extremely powerful tool or any such, you know, frequency people can change. Yeah. But adapting that tool and then repeating that, you know, over a long period of time. I want to now just delve a little deeper into your the entrepreneurial phase, you know, in the 98 to 2000, 2001. So you did your startup in Boston. You fought with your co-founders, left, you know, moved to Bay Area. I think around the same time, I had the similar story. I was working for Deloitte Consulting. I didn't like the big company job. I think early 99, I also quit my job, drove to Bay Area, ki company chalu karenge, you know, with that. I think we ended up in Silicon Valley around the same time. You were among the very few early employees at Egan. So that phase, I think, you know, looking back again, you know, those, I think there was three or four years you worked for very early stage startups, your own startup or other startups. Any key fundamental learnings that you have taken away with you, which has you know informed rest of your career? So, so if you like, so if you ask me, right, I will give a lot of like uh, uh, credit, right, or I have a lot of like respect for those four years that I did at Eakin, right, and specifically to Ashutosh, right. Ashutosh was the the CEO, right. So he's like uh, eighty-seven or eighty-eight IIT Delhi, fantastic guy, so on and so forth, right. 
So when I was moving out of Zoesis and uh, planning to join Egan, right? So I used to report to Ashutosh about the CEO, right? And my deal with him was very straightforward, right? That uh, I want to learn. I know I want to be in this domain, uh, this guy, uh, uh, this thing. I want to create some impact, kind of thing. By that time, good thing was like uh, uh, I knew for sure that money is not something that like impact will come. Money is a secondary thing. It will come, right? So money was not the this thing. But I said, okay, I have to understand, kind of thing. That was I remember I met him, and then they said. So my deal with him was he said that I'll expose you to all different kinds of this thing, right? So those so those four years at Egan, right? So I did like tech, I did product, I did customer support in terms of call. I, that time there was no cloud, so we ran data centers. Uh, I helped Egan set up an offshore development center in India, so on and so forth, kind of thing. So that exposure at those four years was super critical, right? The most important part that I learned at Egan, I would say, was. Uh, The motto was gain and sustain. Right, so it's not just important to gain the customer. How do we sustain it? Can I tell you? Right, so 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 that if if you ask me, like those four years, like besides learning each and every single aspect of running a business, can I tell you? Right, how to gain a customer, how to sustain it? Actually, if you look at it, two very different skill set. Can I tell you? Right, that gaining के लिए you will like. Uh, halka sa you have to exaggerate kind of thing but then the reality is going to stack in right so even when you are in the initial phase of gaining this thing right you have to keep in mind that eventually it sustains to karna us is correct kind of right like among all the companies right i, I would say egan is where uh, deep within i'm most thankful to because that those four years literally taught me ki dhanda kaise karna hai what were the mistakes what are the good things gain and sustain karna hai theek hai डिवर्सिफाई करके रखना है क्या थे बॉटम लाइन थे सो बाय बाय द द टाइम यू 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 आर आर 25 26 हैव डन योर 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 थिंग टू स्टार्टअप रेज मनी क्विट दैट एंड बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ रियली हॉट स्टार्टअप एट द टाइम यू नो वेरी अर्ली एम्प्लॉय देयर वेंट थ्रू आईपीओ जर्नी एंड क्रैश सो वंस यू मूव डाउन इगेन लाइक वर यू एट दैट टाइम श्योर की अब फ्यूचर में योर प्राइमरी थिंग इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन्टरप्रनर और यू आर ओपन टू अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज I strongly encourage. Like now, I know that this is very out of fashion kind of thing, uh, and I'm not sure if you know this or not. But uh, Ashutosh wanted to test me. Ashutosh was see what I can write. So when I first said, "Okay, I'm just seeking to write," so Ashutosh threw the bait at me. Right? He said, "Ki main tumko salary nahi dega." So he told me instead of salary, equity. Yeah, right. So he said, "We really believe in the company. Then you should just take equity kind of thing." So I said, "Okay." I'll just take the equity, uh, so on and so forth kind of thing, and but I won't pay you the salary. But he was testing, like later on, right? So I said, you know, I have to learn. So pay me, I need to do it. So for one year, I didn't get a salary, right? And it's very funny because, so, uh, so he said, of course, I didn't have money. So this is we didn't make any money, right? So I moved from Boston to San Francisco, right? पिताजी से पैसे मांग नहीं सकता था वैसे भी वॉज अपसेट कि वॉज ये कर क्या रहा है ठीक है उसके बाद लाइक हाँ ड्रॉपिंग आउट ऑफ माइटी वॉज वेरी अपसेट बाय द वे बट एनी वेस्ट सो सर आशुतोष सर लाइक है मेरे पास एक बहुत ही घटिया सा अपार्टमेंट है द फेयर रोक्स में लेवर लाइक टेन में यू कैन स्टेन ओवर दे यू डोंट हैव टू पेयर रेन सो इस की मकान हो गया दो टाइम्स यू आर वर्किंग लाइक सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन आवर्स तो ऑफिस में मतलब कि द फैशन वॉज यू डोंट इट ब्रेकफास्ट बिकॉज यू आर वर्किंग टू लाइक थ्री इन मॉर्निंग फास्ट में चालू कर दिया वो इंटरवेट कुल लंच डिनर ऑफिस में आएगा सो एंड वी यूज टू वर्क मंडे टू सैटरडे सैटरडे इवनिंग आई यूज टू बॉस सर बेरियम आया कुछ थोड़ा घूमने दो राइट सो सैटरडे इवनिंग ही यूज टू गिव मी लाइक ट्वेंटी टू फोर्टी डॉलर्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन इज मून कैश टू ट्वेंटी डॉलर्स बिल ऑफ समटाइम्स वन सिंगल दिस थिंग आई यूज टू टेक कैलट्रीन शालीमार देव वॉज अ रेस्टोरेंट इन दिस थिंग वहाँ पे रफली एट टू नाइन डॉलर्स यू कैन गेट गुड कबाब वन करी एंड वन नान दैट यूज टू मे लंच ऑन ए बाईसाइकिल कम बैक ऑन द कैलट्रेन पे आगे दे करके बीस डॉलर का वो ट्रिप था तो एक साल तक वैसे चला सो सो दैट ऑल्सो टेल्स यू अ लॉट अबाउट योर सेल्फ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिकमेंड एवरी थिंग टू दिस दिस थे राइट बट दैट ऑल्सो टोल मे के लुक आई रियली एन्जॉय दिस राइट लाइक द प्रोसेस ऑफ बिल्डिंग राइट एंड I had fantastic fun at Egan, especially the first year. Kind of thing, so it was less about the money. The process of building something was something that very, very, very enjoyable, right? So even post Egan, like we certainly made some money, so on and so forth. I was very clear that this is the process of building zero sum only. Jane, it's a fun thing. We are doing it, kind of thing, right? So you know, I still till date, whenever I go to San Francisco, I make sure I go to Shalimar. Oh, Shalimar. What do I have? Like, pure nostalgia. Back to that, you know. Same, like, same, same, same. Like, like, irrespective of whichever part of Bay Ridge I'm in. But Mukhtar, you're touching on some very important points, right? And that is again, you know, having you know nice degrees and all that. There is no dearth of opportunities. But giving up all of that, um, 
for just you're saying prioritizing learning okay. you're saying mero khali seekhna hai i want to really figure it out i don't care about the immediate instant gratification ki mero ko ye chahiye and all of that right which is again i mean i am with you i don't i'm not necessarily recommending to anyone but in some way in entrepreneurship which is a ultimate delayed gratification game you have to build something make it valuable find customers build a business model eventually it may be very rewarding but you have to give up a lot right which is something now entrepreneurship also very fashionable glamorous cool you can raise 5 million dollar in day one and so on but even those startup need to go through at this level so i think that's a i think important point you know worth emphasizing that it it is important but again like it's very 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 person specific right so i understood that that age and i would say a lot of credit should go to ashutosh right that age ki this is the kind of person i am and i think and I, up, even right now right like uh, certainly like uh, financially especially the last 3 4 years has been fantastic so on and so forth right but my lifestyle hasn't changed like if you ask me what is the best thing in my life right now on a sunday morning we take the metro me and my son 35 rupees lagta one way ka to 70 rupees mein jaate we go to kavan park we do a 5k loop which is free kavan park is free and we come back right and maybe we'll have one ganna juice right which is like 50 bucks right 200 rupees right that khushi right like that's not even 3 dollars proper right that happiness like so it's at some stage you have to figure out what kind of person you are kind of and because most people are listening probably don't know yeah. that this you know slow, as if you can't afford it but given a job now is making tens of millions of dollars of cash flow every year right is you know quite stark maybe we'll dive deep into it and you can't afford it what will you do all right mugli so you have all these adventures till your again journey one more adventure if i recall correctly started you basically just like forest gump i think got a one day start running and finish a marathon something like that like how did you get into your old marathon journey <laughs> so it's a funny story right so so everything about it is funny story so utna to bazar ke so uh, i think this was uh, i started like at, so not that i was a great sportsman but in general i'll play some sports something or the other kind of thing right so i think in 2000 right like egan right high pressure job startup so on so forth kind of thing right so one evening i still remember like uh, I have a habit of wearing only the company t-shirt right throughout my life right so I was wearing this uh, very shabby egan t-shirt and I'm always in shorts right so shorts bermudas what do we call them right so bermudas and then uh, not fantastic shoes that power jogger <clears throat> 399 rupees at that point of time right you buy from india and use it in us kind of, right so just one evening i like very stressful scenario kind of thing right uh, and then i went for a walk kind of thing ki yeah, let me get some fresh air kind of thing and then i ran a bit and kind of i right so and after that i feel felt very refreshed kare and then when i came back that time i was hardcore coder right cut 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 ran a bit meaning few kilometers or a few kilometers like 3 4 kilometers yeah. i didn't measure right? of all course right. all this fancy devices is not there but maybe like that time it was miles but maybe two or three miles kind of right so so 2000 2001 like not a very regular basis but i'll run like 2 3 4 odd kilometers and for me it was a great stress buster mm. that the evening that time i used to run in the evening so 2 3 kilometers i'll run and then boss you feel fresh and then coat ka quality acha ho jata tha so i said perfect this, this is working out kind of thing right so yes. now you have i think your running habit also you continued for over 20 years now yes yes do you think it has played what role you know this very long term running habit has played in your life in terms of deep thinking i would say certainly this thing it teaches you a lot of patience Uh, like it's, it's a, if you're running sometimes can be a very 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 monotonous stuff right so i would say getting a clarity of thoughts so after my run like so imagine like you are running like 42 odd kilometers in like 3 and a half 4 hours whatever like 4 and a half hours this thing right and it's all like you're totally disconnected from the world right so that like i have always felt that the, at the end of the 42 kilometers whatever decision that i like, come across with it has been thought through for such a long period like four of a continuous thinking about a specific topic is such a good quality time that pose that your decision is not going to be wrong right so you're disconnected you are kind of getting into the zone you know it's also i'm pretty sure it's very meditative as well it is sir. and you make you know are able to think clearly make good decisions i'm sure incredible benefit to your health as well right oh, of sir. course of course of course like the, the from a health perspective well i'm married to a doctor but i keep on keeping on like and never do my like marathon and day keeps doctor away yeah uh, maybe not the apple but maybe marathon like maybe not a day but marathon a, a quarter keeps the doctor away kind of thing but uh, yeah certainly it has uh, a marathon keeps you away <laughs> maybe that's uh, this is but uh, certainly like uh, both from a deep thinking and the health 
it it has uh, see i think the reason you know, i'm diving deeper into i also personally believe that you know having this you know commitment to any kind of fitness mm-hmm. is extremely important if someone is going to you know work on a impact project it will require many decades of effort mm-hmm. to keep your mind sharp body sharp you know stay interested in that you know i also got into fitness in 2000 mm-hmm. unlike you know, running i started you know gym bodybuilding you know mm-hmm. i did that and since then you know all kind of workout regimen for me also in the toughest years of mintra you know for me the my constant companion was you know ability to go back to gym work out sweat it out feel really good come back and then tackle pretty much anything you know so i think it's a is again an important tool people can consider right i think if you want to look, it could even be walking i don't think it really matters even to go for a long walk ha so 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 the reason why i uh two things right and we'll come to sports as well right so specifically what i like about marathon right it gives you a lot of self confidence as well it's just if you look at it right uh, and you know this better than me right right a human body like post that like that 15 20 25 odd kilometers like in marathon racing and i'm at the kilometer 32 33 you start hitting the ball kind of right so there will be a struggle between your body and the mind kind of right for me i really enjoy that phase right that the last 5 6 kilometers right when like uh, your body is like saying ki boss kyun right matlab chhatis ho gaya especially like especially like uh, uh, for the run which are not like the bombay marathons like which has like nobody else it's, it's just you and you right right so us case mein doing the last 6 km right teaches you a whole lot about yourself right ki okay, boss isko to karna hi hai right matlab like this is the reason why i did the first 36 km right the last 6.195 is the reason for the first 36 one right and you push you push you push 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 and eventually hit that that number right and that that translates at least for me that translates a lot into work okay there will be times where like and, and like and, and like and, and well, don't consider this as a racial race as indians we are very good at finishing to that 90 92 what percentage last sat art percentage hum bolte ab ho gaya wo hindi mein kehte hai na haathi nikal gaya poot chhut gayi right wo wali kahani hum log ki hoti hai right ki we are very good at that 90 92 maybe even 95 percentage and 5 like think of like and, and totally outside work right think of anybody's house in mean, you have a fantastic interior yeah, but a typical house interior right so everybody will complain ki interior wale yaar 95% kar diya baki 5% chhod diya right builder ne 95 kar diya 5% chhod diya right bangalore ki sadak ko dekh lo 5% kar diya 95% chhod diya bangalore ki sadak is like ha maybe the ulta kind of thing so that unfortunately is uh, for whatever reason right we are quite bad at finishing that 5% right? and that personally for me has started to boss the last like 5 or 10 percentage is probably more important than like maybe not the more important but is as critical as the first 90 output i think that's how you're saying that you know doing this long distance running teaches you how to go over the finish line yes. and sometimes you know it's easy to start easy to you know go the distance but at some point fatigue sets in maybe you're running out of money you know if you're going to do a startup you know there's some setback etc then finding that resolve and will power yeah. and just go through that not only you're finishing the race but you're also developing that muscle they really encounter a situation any walk of life you know, exactly right? exactly yeah. exactly yeah. so i think okay also knowing you for last 30 days i know i mean you have had this insane amount of will power you know whether i remember i think i did some days you will just not sleep you will study two days in a row or doing this marathon right or you know do that part of your will power you know is do you think it's more genetic or is there any way you have cultivated that what's cultivated it's cultivated so just to give you a perspective right like that my asset like my my sister was one year older to me she was very good at academia at least in the initial years i was quite bad like so throughout my uh, primary and middle school i was known as malika's brothers right because my sister was very good at academia so typically that's what you follow right so certainly i was not born with that will power kind of thing right uh, but sometimes scarcity teaches you a lot right and uh, again we are going back a bit to the childhood right so as a very young child i didn't have too many friends right? because the general theory was ki bas jo padhai mein acha usi se dosti karenge kind of thing right so bunch of that observation right tell me ki bas agar karna hai right if you are not really good at something then the and i think earlier today we were talking about the community so on and so forth you can never have that community this thing right so for me it was totally taught like uh, i can't imagine so certainly it's not genetic because the if you extrapolate the first 10 11 maybe 12 years of my life yeah to where i am right now like koi any relationship nahi hai right so certainly it's not genetic is uh, definitely and you've seen this is also will power when as you develop your will power is it transferable when you are able to apply lot of will power in one area you see like 
you are able to do the same in many other aspects oh, like uh, absolutely like in this part i'm 100% sure like so till date right till date i believe right that if i am given the right opportunity to hire and other right i will have a sports it can be ping pong it can be badminton it can be soccer right right i'll play for half an hour with the person and then decide this right so translating something from a like at least what i have learned is translating something from a different field yeah specifically sports into real life business right at least for me has been uh, like for me it's not on the same that if this is works in sports it has to work in both and uh, you know in my first book no limits i have talked about this idea of will power in almost in you know, people talk about will power can be thought of as a muscle that you can train and with training it keeps getting better and better i'm glad you're talking about it being transferable because i've also seen exactly same thing and that's why i think the i think you've already touching upon the importance of sports you know i'm a huge fan of sports not watching sports but playing sports watching for koi will power nahi banti hai fantasy mein wo fantasy mein paise barbaad hote hain but if you actually play a sport right you know there is a lot you can learn in the act of playing sport from character development to stamina development to learning how to deal with win and loss to collaborating and so on it's like highly transferable sports is one way may other ways but i think the point i want to underline is just being aware of you know today where are where are you on the will power spectrum and how you can train that and it will not be dramatically better tomorrow but slowly it can be 1% better tomorrow and then 1% better right and over period time you make it really good in one area and suddenly you realize you know if you want to you can apply same will power to not eating junk food if you want to not do that or want to sleep more or whatever habit you want to incorporate i think so just being aware of that mental model that will power is kind of muscle i can train it i mean you are a outlier extreme of that you know training will power to abhi tumhe kya lagta hai ki kuch bhi karne ko to kar loge so yeah like i can talk back on fact that what a man has done a man can do right i strongly uh, uh, believe in that so certainly like i won't say kuch bhi karne ko kar lenge kind of thing but uh, certainly the amount of confidence it gives kind of thing like like uh, ki अगर ये चीज कर सकते हैं तो ये क्यों नहीं कर सकते कैन नॉट राइट सो सटली यस लाइक द करंट फेज ऑफ लाइफ लाइक सो पार्ट ऑफ इट इज द विल पावर एंड पार्ट ऑफ इट लाइक एट लीस्ट आई एम इन द स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ वेयर इन दैट फियर ऑफ फेलियर इज नॉट देयर राइट मतलब पिताजी बोलते थे दामुल फांसी है क्या राइट कि मतलब कि क्या होगा राइट मतलब कि इफ यू ट्राई समथिंग राइट लाइक इनफैक्ट इफ आई लुक एट इट राइट सेवेंटी टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ द नेशन डिजर टेक leads to a failure kind of right so if you're not like uh, trying those things failure nahi hoga to so it's it's eventually it's a process that matters kind of thing failure aaya to aaya and and it's not like keep uh failure for me is like at that point of time it didn't work out maybe that learning if you can trust it at some point of time it can actually work it out kind of so thing. speaking of you know failure and risk i think i want to go back to your career trajectory i think from what i'm recalling in around 2003 4 you Came yeah. back to India, yeah. and I think you were doing something which today people will call generative AI. Be sir, pehle, right? I think you uh, can maybe elaborate on that. But what was the trigger? You know, in the two thousand three four, and in some way looks like you know I was following you because two three years later I also ended up ended up being in you know Bangalore trying to start a company. But us time pe mm. kya soch ke like you know what convinced you to move back to India and try to build a startup and mm. it was kind of generative AI, right, for yeah. animation stuff. Correct, correct, correct. So so. Uh, again like uh, i am going back to the marathon to the another right so i i literally took the decision to come back to india in like a matter of a day or two kind of thing like uh, thankfully i was that time i was not married so only i had to take the decision uh, this day, right so so it started with like it's, it's uh, you know that in bay area like san francisco there the sony metreon theater right and me and one of my uh, uh, caucasian friend like both of us were at mit together we went out for dinner and then we said chalo सोनी मटेरियल में एक मूवी देखते हैं बोथ ऑफ फर्स्ट लाइक पिक्सर मूवी सॉन एंड सो पोत कैन नो थिंग एंड देन वी वॉश्ड लाइक मॉस्टर आई एन सी कैन नो थिंग एंड देन उसके बाद बोथ ऑफ फर्स्ट केम आउट एंड देन ऐसे वो बहुत अच्छी पिक्चर थी ऐसे हाँ बट द फनी थिंग वॉज लाइक फॉर मी राइट फॉर हिम इट वॉज अबाउट द स्टोरी राइट दैट ओ वन आई वॉज अ किड आई यूज टू थिंक दैट मॉन्स्टर हाइड इन साइड कवर दिस दैट सॉन एंड सो फोथ राइट एंड फॉर मी इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द क्वालिटी ऑफ एनिमेशन राइट तो इफ यू लुक एट दैट वन राइट द फर एनिमेशन बस फैंटास्टिक है सर बॉस इतना सॉल्व इतना कंप्यूटेशन इसने करके कर दिया मतलब दैट्स फैंटास्टिक दिस इज लाइक सच अ ग्रेट पीस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बाय आई एंजॉयड द मूवी बट दैट टेक वाज द दिस थिंग राइट एंड देन आई रियलाइज लाइक द रीजन व्हाई आई एम नॉट एबल टू एसोसिएट टू द स्टोरी राइट मतलब कि 
हम लोग गुल्ली डंडा खेल करके बड़े हुए हैं बहुत मतलब पैसे इकट्ठा करके दस रुपए का कॉर्केट बॉल खरीदते थे स्टफ एनिमल तो मतलब कि अमेरिका जाने से पहले देखे भी नहीं थे राइट सो देन आई रियलाइज दैट ऑल दिस मूवीज डू रिलेटिवली ओके इन इंडिया राइट बट वॉट इफ यू मेक अ मूवी विच इज एज गुड एज अ क्वालिटी ऑफ अ पिक्चर यूजिंग द राइट टेक्नोलॉजी स्टाइल सम ऑफ द थिंग दैट वी बिल्ड इट एंड सो दिस एंड देन बिल्ड इट फॉर द इंडियन मार्केट कैन थिंग राइट सो bit of an impulsive decision but that is how i started right that how I, how do i use a better animation technique to make up a a, a sort of an animation lab kind of thing and then uh, build up a equivalent of a pixar and so you watched monster sink you're you know you're inspired decide to like from that how many days or months less than a month you were in india i was in india i was in i was in india like i first moved to hyderabad and started the studio called as timeline studios kind of thing right What did your father think this time? Gave up. He, yeah, um, yeah. I have just. To, well, I have a, no, no, no. Like, so yeah, hold it, like one <laughs> night. <laughs> so I was twenty-seven, twenty-eight that time. Yeah, right, twenty-eight, right. And I guess the cutoff is thirty. Right. So my father said, "Jab <laughs> India hai reho, to I guess kine the thoda padai karu." So yeah, so that is what he was thinking. Ki I guess de do. but certainly that was uh, off the topic for me kind of thing as and i'm going to do the startup kind of thing right so so you try and start up a few years i st- i tried for almost slightly more than a year kind of thing right and uh, just to clean up the story so, so i think what we building again was good kind of thing so, so there was a learning from those is certainly i was much more matured so on and so forth kind of thing but that learning taught so, so just to sum up that story right so our that time dollar to inr was like 40 or something right So our entire cost of making so we made a good ten minute prototype, but it was about two fishes and uh, some interesting story fun so on so forth kind of finding. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was by the way before finding Nemo, just before that. Uh, so but uh, uh, but it was not finding Nemo. It was the script was very different, right? And uh, interesting, I wrote that script. But but what happened in over there was that uh, so overall cost of producing the movie would have been three million dollars. So Bharat Air prototypes got there, right? And then. So while we are doing the right thing, but then all of a sudden, that's when the product market fit uh, came into picture, right? That time, the cost of the Shahrukh Khan was big. That time, he's still big, and the sh- cost of making a Shahrukh Khan movie was seven or eight crore, right? So then the choice was obvious. Like, why will somebody like between putting money in twelve crores right. and eighteen crores, the choice is very clear, right? Mm-hmm. Like, Shahrukh Khan ke eight crore mein movie banaoge kya? And that was where, like, and I strongly believe, and we'll come to Zafar now, that in the current generation, the world is flat. whatever thing that we are building it has to have a global appeal right so the mistake that we did at timeline studio was uh, we should have thought about my my, my vision should have been very myopic that i am going to build this only for india had the vision been that i am going to build it for the entire world kind of thing right that would have been fun. and ironically we had the right set of tech stacks on so forth we were like compared to a pixel we were like probably 10x 20x more cheaper uh, certainly there was an india advantage but we had a very strong tech advantage so on and so forth but somehow i was very fixated on like uh, for man and you know this for a long period of time my signature used to be jai hind right so i was very focused ki india india and only india kind of thing right and talk more about that like what was how did you think about india i think around same time i moved back to india right. you know in those days we used to talk about india shining and all of that and the stock of india was rising in the world mm-hmm. i genuinely believe that india is starting to take off and i wanted to be part of the story from ground zero like that's, that's what's really eventually convinced me to move back here after 10 years what was your thought process mental model of you know i mean see i silicon valley is you know probably one of the most fascinating places in the world to learn to start a company great weather california is amazing place you know why give up all that and move to india ki kya dikh raha tha us token ki india So, 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 well, to begin with, for Timeless Studio, it was like I really like the domain, right? That's the thing. Certainly, the India Shining was uh, 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 was there kind of thing, like and uh, one of my like uh, like uh, uh, quote that I really like is uh, this from Abraham Lincoln, right? If you want to predict the future, create one, right? So the best way to predict the future is to invent. Is to invent the invent the future kind of thing, right? So I was in that boat, right? That ki boss ayenge, theek hai. uh india i agree was shining right if you look at it in terms of spends on but the pehle kya hoga right pehle log roti kapda aur makan dekhenge fir ye jayega to certainly i was not into the roti kapda makan also later now i with sapna i was like but it was ke jab paise aayenge log kya karenge people want a better source of entertainment so on and so forth and that's the segment that i was looking for right so certainly india shining india rising that was even very clear in the 2034 and i'm very glad right 
if you look at 2023 we certainly have made a lot of progress right so certainly it was it was along that theme ki india will be shining and then these guys will need this uh, entertainment and wahan pe rahenge and now that you know you have i mean you have done outstanding work in the last 20 years we'll talk about that in a minute but um, what is your personal understanding of you know why you think it is or, or first do you think it is going to be india century like what are the deep strength that india has which in some ways getting unlocked like what is your perspective on india's uh, time in the world india's opportunity in the world the next 50 to 100 years we we will have an edge over many other countries can kind of right so some reasons in my opinion are internal to us and some reasons are external right so if you look at the external reasons uh especially in the last with the advent of internet so on and so forth kind of thing like even my village in north bihar has a fantastic internet connectivity kind of thing which we would have never thought right which Be- village is that this is in siwan noranga right so this is like really north bihar right kind of right to matlab electricity wahan pe 1980 mein pahunchi hai right and internet 2005 pe pahunch gaya right and thanks to jio like sabko connected hai right i can do a video call from there kind of thing and interesting it they have better roads than bangalore but 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 <laughs> so so what has happened is like because of this right and if you look at an event like covid as bad as covid was right covid taught the entire 7 8 billion population that you can work with a remote team right? so so because of some unforeseen incident like covid innovations out of your damn in the internet kind of thing now now even a small village in noranga people will watch youtube and understand how does us looks like right like uh, think of it like we went to great college but in 93 i used to think that everybody in us plays tennis and basketball to ladkiyan khelti hain right that was my perception like as bad as in a sound right so the world has become flat right so that is going to work out to our advantage right? that the world has truly become flat right so pehle jo tha the price wala jo game khelte the that is going to go away kind of right so external factors which has made the world flat is one right? that is going to work to our advantage because our inherent cost structure is this thing another right then certainly the the younger generation the younger population can kind of think we certainly have an edge over there can another right so that is there can another right third thing that we feel that i feel is like given our society right like the way we have been like structured and so on and so forth can kind another of right the hunger is still there in us right like uh, ki the hunger to achieve something so if i look at uh, uh, because of all this travel like so if i look at like a typical person in the age group of 15 to 25 in india and if i look that in europe or or in us yeah. the kid in india has a much stronger hunger kind of right like then usko lagta hai ki matlab the rest right like see iske boss theek hai matlab in terms of moving pushing this thing i can see these these kids have a much stronger hunger right so the given the fact that the world has gone flat the next set of generation has compared to the rest of the world has a much stronger hunger right our education systems are improving i'm not just talking about the iits kind of thing the ashoka university so on and so forth kind of thing like wo uh, sudhar raha kind of thing right all this will give us a huge advantage kind right. of thing, right and plus more like with the 1.4 billion population right yeah so wo hai, the innovation mindset is is coming up so i think this will certainly give us a much stronger edge over the rest of the world and then 50 60 saal tak to i'm quite sure that we should see the strike yeah. so india has a opportunity to play in the global economy pretty much everything is accessible like massively young population which is also intensely aspirational right and people are getting skilled at all entire spectrum of skill set right from the you know, most cutting edge stuff to everyday stuff that yeah. all put together we think yeah. you know will unlock india's potential i totally hold that game believe i think part of it, one thing we'll keep diving deep into this podcast is just talk about india opportunity because you know say in 70s 80s india mein how could you create impact you need then a larger ecosystem to growing when you have that uh, tailwind when there are rising tide and india is probably the biggest rising tide in the tide in the world you know and is going to continue for many decades right so i think i agree with you there and, and even if you look at the uh, my son is in 6th grade right so even if you look at the kids of that generation the way you are they are thinking about it the kind of work they are doing right, is very 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 different like hum log to ratification tha right matlab ki 6 8 48 mein tha rat liye to rat liye kya na the so right from the ground level the way these guys are getting molded yeah. is certainly different kind of thing, right and uh, so in some sense we have preserved some of those hunger and uh, sort of the quote unquote the entrepreneurship feeling that we have this kind of thing, right plus like the i don't think the 
सोशल बॉन्डिंग फैब्रिक इन इंडिया लाइक सटली विथ एडवांसमेंट थोड़ा सा जाता है बट वी स्टिल आर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सोशली बॉन्डेड राइट सो हम लोग की बॉन्डिंग काफी स्ट्रॉन्ग रहती है राइट एंड दैट बॉन्डिंग लाइक डिस्पाइट ऑल द एडवांसमेंट इम्प्रूव इकोनॉमी सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ कहना थे हल्का सा वीक इन हुआ है बट इट्स नॉट लाइक टोटली ब्रोकन राइट फॉर इंस्टेंस लाइक टू गिव यू वेरी सॉलिड एग्जाम्पल राइट एवरीबडी इन माई फादर्स जनरेशन योर फादर्स जनरेशन राइट सबके घर में एक दो भाई रहेगा जिसको पढ़ाना है ये करना है एंड करते थे लोग करते तभी भी वो बॉन्डिंग है पीपल विल डू इट फॉर सो विच मीन दैट ड्यूरिंग लो टाइम्स पीपल विल बी विलिंग टू सपोर्ट ईच अदर एंड दैट शुड हेल्प अस राइट ओके लेट्स गो बैक टू योर ऑन्टरप्रीनियर करियर एंड सो यू नो आई थिंक यू वर ट्राइंग टू दिस एनिमेशन कंपनी एट सम पॉइंट यू फिगर आउट दू नो डेंट गेट द प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट एक्सेट्रा यू डिस शट दट डाउन so by that time you know you tried to do a company in boston for some reason you moved on from there you were a very early employee again which had its own ups and downs in the end you know again at least after the stock crashed and unlisted things were not looking good for again it was at that point at least not a you know great outcome then you came back to india tried to start something for whatever reason that didn't work out i'm going to move forward a little bit and then come back later is you know at some point you started uh, zop now i know you tried extremely hard variety to factor at some point the original business model of grocery also didn't work out you chose to shut that down so by that time you know you spent almost 12 13 years trying to do entrepreneurship and but you did not have a large visible success show for it and before you answer i want to mention pretty much identical story for me you know i work for startups from 1990 to 2007 most startups you know pretty much shut down i don't know because of i worked there maybe as <laughs> a reason for some reason but band ho gaya you know and i moved back to india 2007 mein 7 to 11 again you know try to mentor me we had so many pivots to mere ko 12 saal ho gaye 1900 2011 nothing to show for it i don't know how did you deal with the fact right you know by that time you didn't do your peers din nahi kiya upsc nahi kiya you know sare pita ji sapne puri nahi kare right and doing all these you know random startups and not able to really show what was your mental model through all these years especially towards the end of you know that, that 12 year journey of uh, in fact If you look at the and we'll we'll talk about the Amazon five years later, can I tell you? So, so so very early, like I would say in the early thirties, right? I realized the difference between success and satisfaction. So for me, like these are like uh, two different concepts altogether, right? If you are running a business, then probably I would go to the extent to say. That the only metrics to measure your success is your bottom line. कि कितना profit generate करा that is a success. Like if you ask me honestly, that is like uh, I only feel कि अच्छा success bottom line अबे कितना है? इस साल आपने 500 करोड़ किए, अगले साल आपने 500 करोड़ bottom line not top line, अगले साल आपने 750 करोड़ किए, हजार करोड़ किए that is the definition of success, right? And satisfaction is very different, right? So, so there are some cases wherein the satisfaction and the success can be together, right? But at least for me, these are like two. the way you measure your satisfaction is going to be very different than the way you measure success right so in terms of success you are absolutely right like except if i take off the amazon stint partly again me when we went ipo we got some money kind of thing so if you look at it except for those five years at amazon and the short stint at uh, the ipo time of egan kind of thing almost like 20 years was a failure right success ka opposite failure hai, right but when you look at the satisfaction bucket right that was very large right the satisfaction of seeing the whatever for a short period of time the impact that we created with egan right or uh, even with timeline studios while the animation thing didn't work out and just to close the story we did a few bollywood movies as well rudraksh and others so uska thoda impact acha lagta tha kind of thing right uh, even if you look at zopno right financially it was a disaster like ghar se paise lage literally like for me zopno like uh, a good portion of the amazon stock money went into zopno kind of thing right but the satisfaction that i got in all the stints right more than compensated for the success because remember for me it was always like the kind of lifestyle that i was leading right i was very sure even ke baad thode paise ban gaye the but my lifestyle didn't change kind of thing amazon ke baad again i had a good load of money kind of thing but my lifestyle didn't change right and wo hindi mein kahawat hai na poot saput to kyo dhan sanche poot kaput to kyo dhan sanche right so if the kid is good then why do you want to save money kind of thing if the kid is bad kitna money be karega wo saal bada dega kind of thing right so uh, one kid so so the point is like with that kind of mentality which i strongly believe right i was never too much worried about the success right 
if success ke sath satisfaction bhi nahi rehta then i agree the first thing that i would done was like at the age of 32 or maybe 29 applied for civil services this thing right so for me the satisfaction bucket was large right? like the the impact that was sort e gain or even with the timeline studios and even if i look at zopno right kind of thing right i still feel like at a personal level i'll say right at a personal level and this goes back to my overall long term thinking that the my grandson should be born in a developed country right and for the uh, the classic five wise right for that to happen at some stage i strongly feel that the woman has to be empowered you know right so if you ask me in a single like the biggest success, the satisfaction that i had at zopno was right that so zopno was into the grocery business three hours delivery so on and so forth right so heavy operations at some point we had like 1500 1600 book hour workforce kind of there out of the 1600 book hour workforce close to 400 450 were women right? who were this woman right? these were women jo ki uske ek mahine pehle aapke ghar mein jhadu pocha mar rahi hai bartan bhor rahi right from there now she is using an android phone to do some kind of like picking packaging so on and so forth she is getting literate on the digital technology her next step is going to be a data entry job which will give her this thing and once she gets that probably she'll impart a better education to the kids and then this thing is there right so if you look at those metrics of satisfaction it was very huge right so answering the question like between success and satisfaction certainly the success metrics was actually negative but the satisfaction metrics was huge kind of right uh, so you know you talked about those 20 year journey of you know in various stages where you were able to differentiate between external success versus internal satisfaction and you optimize for that mm-hmm. and i think that's a in some for you stayed with the whole you know idea of entrepreneurship for more than two decades you know this is one of the things i talk often that one has to approach entrepreneurship as a career and not as one shot thing absolutely ki main company chalu karta hu do saal mein chal gaye to bahut badhiya nahi to you know go back usme to bandi hogi as a whole this somehow you know creating the runway for you where you put 10 20 30 years have multiple shot at it keep getting better at it eventually the chances are that you will find catch the right lucky break lucky breaks are also very important i think yeah, in the especially like, luck plays a big big role right in the whole risk and just rewards equation you cannot take luck completely out of it correct, correct. but you have to create yourself that kind of runway correct correct, correct. Right? absolutely so for you it happened in some ways accidentally or deliberate about kabhi karna hai like you know no matter how long it takes ha huh, so, so if you look at it matlab ki jab tak bhi bachche ghar pe sadak pe nahi aate right so what i did personally was like uh, Uh, while I said like put ka put and those things, right? So I I stashed a set of money. Ki boss, this money I'm not going to touch, right? This is for the family, right? Like uh, in terms of hardcore number, it was a two million dollars, right? Ki ye hai, ye mere liye nahi hai. This is for the family. As a uh, uh, as a husband, as a father, I am accountable for uh, there's some expectation. Yes, I just that's a money that I don't touch, right? That two million bucks is this thing, right? बाकी है कि मतलब उसका अयाशी में नहीं उड़ाना दैट इज अ एक्सपेरिमेंटल मॉडल बाकी सर में क्या है जी करोगे मतलब कोई नहीं कर सकता तो 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 बाकी मैंने इज टू जस्ट फिगर इट आउट हाउ टू हेल्प कि टू गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर सो इन बिटवीन ऑल योर एंटरप्रेन्योर स्टंट्स यू हैड अ यू नो आई थिंक टू आउटस्टैंडिंग स्टंट्स बोथ इन मेक माय ट्रिप आई थिंक यू वर सीटीओ देयर एंड यू वर पार्ट ऑफ द होल आईपीओ स्टोरी एंड आई थिंक बिफोर दैट यू वर्कड एट Amazon फॉर नियरली 5 इयर्स राइट what are just some of the you know looking back you know those were one was a very late stage company going public amazon also i think the time you were there they were probably in the doldrums they were storied company 99 2000 and they went to doldrums for almost a decade so in fact probably the years you were there probably the most depressing time of amazon again i don't know if there's a correlation but you know just just uh, talk to me about you know what were those four five years like what do you, i mean amazon is one of the most valuable come in the world now they have done a lot of pioneering work and jeff is in my opinion is probably the greatest businessman of you know last 25 years at least among the top 2 3 oh, like i agree right so this just let's let's talk about you know what was those fears like and what did you learn there so the first thing at amazon was the the power of data well everybody talks about data data and data but amazon me wo dikha ke re acha ki data ke sath aap ye cheez kar sakte ho which impacts the business and this thing right so one was the data second thing amazon was like there are good and bad things about the amazon culture but the ownership model that amazon gives like is phenomenal right and uh, when a spider man correct right, with power comes right. responsibility so on right. support kind of right so the ownership that amazon gives like is like and the kind of trust that amazon puts on a person is unbelievable 
अनबिलीवेबल मतलब अनबिलीवेबल सो जस्ट 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 लाइक स्पॉट दिस देयर हेड एंडी जैसी वाज नॉट द सीईओ राइट एंडी वाज गिवन द एडब्ल्यूएस चार्टर राइट एंड टिपिकली व्हाट वुड यू अज्यूम राइट दैट गाय वुड बी अ स्टड इंजीनियर राइट एंडी इज नॉट एन इंजीनियर एंडी हैज अ एमबीए फ्रॉम हार्वर्ड डिग्री बट ही इज अ फैंटास्टिक थिंकर एंड जेफ बिलीव्ड इन हिम एंड ही गिव हिम द बिगेस्ट चार्टर ऑफ बिल्डिंग सो टिपिकल थिंकिंग आई एम एमेजॉन वेब सर्विसेज है इतना बड़ा टेक्नोलॉजी है कोई बहुत ही खतरनाक पीएचडी इसमें किया हुआ होगा जो कि ये बनाएगा बट द गाई हु हैड अ वेरी लॉजिकल थिंकिंग गुड बिजनेस माइंड बॉस की बंद एंटायर चार्टर एंड लुक यू कैन आर्ग्यू दैट अ लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ एमेजॉन वैल्यू इज ड्रिवन बाई ए डब्ल्यू एस दैन बाई एमेजॉन डॉट कॉम कर राइट सो डेटा गिविंग द पीपल ओनरशिप एंड इफ दे डोंट लिव अप ओनरशिप राइट मेकिंग श्योर लाइक कि मतलब कि देन टेक द राइट एक्शन कहना था राइट तो वो 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 किताब है ना गुड टू ग्रेट राइट जिम कॉलेज कॉलेज की राइट गेट द राइट पर्सन ऑन द बस एंड गेट द रॉन्ग पर्सन ऑफ द बस राइट मेनी ऑफ अस गुड गुड एट गेटिंग द राइट पर्सन इन साइड द बस निकालने में एमजोन टॉट दैट पॉट राइट गेटिंग द रॉन्ग पर्सन ऑफ द बस इज मोर आई वॉन्ट सम बोर बट इट्स इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड क्रिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ दैट पॉट राइट सो डेटा ownership get the wrong people of the uh, of the bus kind of thing right and metrics driven culture right so amazon made the for me right like uh, the first sort of meeting we have with, with bezos right it was like uh, the first metrics that you look at what the typical thinking is the first metrics that if a ceo is sitting down will be the business metrics ke top line kya hai kya hai we will open up विद द कस्टमर सर्विस डेक बिकॉज यू विल से यार अगर कस्टमर कंप्लेन कर रहा है दैट पॉइंट शॉट टू लॉन्ग दिस थिंग राइट सो दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई सॉ के बॉस यू आर स्टार्टिंग विद कस्टमर सर्विस का कि कितने कॉल्स आए कितने का रिजोल्यूशन क्या हुआ वट वॉज द रूट कॉज लास्ट टाइम जितना आया था उसका रूट कॉज सॉल्व हुआ कि नहीं यू आर स्टार्टिंग यू आर स्पेंडिंग द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ऑफ द मीटिंग विदाउट इवन नोइंग टॉकिंग अबाउट द बिजनेस कैन ऑफ राइट सो कस्टमर सेंट्रिसिटी लाइक यू रीड दैट इन द बुक्स बट सींग दैट फर्स्ट हैंड was uh, fantastic so when uh, you know people say and uh, i think jeff piece has always talked about making amazon the world's most customer centric company you saw from inside that they saw from the, you saw from inside and then like uh, 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 other thing fantastic thing that uh, we used to do at amazon was like uh, you have to be hands on so uh, one day uh, so uh, every quarter once you are director plus you have to spend one day at the call center one day at the warehouse and one day writing to emails kind of thing right and here's this classic like all of everybody has read that and on card at amazon kind of thing right this thing right so so the story goes like like <laughs> like uh, jeff was doing that call and the call came from the customer kind of thing right and given it's jeff there was a cs agent also next to right so even like so a call me aayega ki mukesh bansal the customer is calling and he bought a table uh, last week from you right even before the customer could say the guy said ki sir iska side broken hoga right and exactly that was the thing right and then uh, jeff asked him how do you know right so ki sir ye hamesha hi aata hai is table ke sath yahi issue aata right so the problem was not in the table the problem was in the way we were packaging stuff kind of right and then it came the five ways happen right why is the table broken blah 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 and then eventually issue was not the table because some other product fault in it was the, pack- the way we were packaging the stuff kind of thing and then the entire and on caught so on and so forth so being grounded like uh, so when jeff says that like uh, i want to make it the most customer he walks the talk so i don't see any of his meeting that started with the business metrics it always started with the customer and what uh, i can see the impact usko dhang se karenge it like top line and bottom line is an eventual this thing right i remember one very interesting mm-hmm. i think vaguely recalling now mm-hmm. jeff bezos and ganesha story oh <laughs> why do you mind sharing that Uh, of course like so, so this was like 2008 9 kind of thing right and uh, this is before amazon had been started up kind of thing right so uh, uh, so jeff for a personal visit he had come to india he and his son wanted to see taj mahal so on and so forth kind of thing right and uh, it was a very secretive meeting like a visit kind of thing because the indian press certainly would like to interview bezos so we had to keep everything under the wrap literally last minute like the customer officer knew that this guy is coming so on and so forth right and then his son really इंडिया में टिपिकल आउटसाइड इंडिया गए थे इसकी हाथी तो ऐसे दिख जाएंगे राइट सो सन रियली ही वॉज टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड राइट ही रियली वॉन्ट टू सी द एलिफेंट राइट सो देन वी सेट कि चलो आई टोल्ड हिम कि लेस आई टेक यू टू सो इधर 
do uh, nagar bhavi we will say uh, no not nagar bhavi nagar all right i'll take you and you see some elephants i arrange some meetings there so it was a good two to one half hour drive so jeff is there the driver is there he had a personal security i his son it was a long car and two other people obviously we was in tumhare car alto mein alto mein to nahi jayega right ha and i didn't even offer him the alto no yeah. so That's so six seven of us were, were going right and then uh, if you know bangalore like uh, uh, the mysore road right there is a ganesha temple kind of thing right when the three ganesha uh, panchmukhi temple that thing right and then uh, lord ganesha is also called as ek dant kind of thing right so uh, as soon as i cross this one this kid like who's 10 year old like white caucasian kid this says ki oh ganesha 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 kind of thing and then i was surprised ki good and he, he knows a bit about uh, uh, india kind of thing right so and then the, and then uh, um, jeff asked him kind of thing right that uh, what did we tell about about ganesha so yeah ganesha is the picture of uh, perseverance kind of right and then i was like what is what the heck is he talking about kind of right and then jeff asked the pop quiz in the thread ki why why is lord ganesha <coughs> called as ek dant and right thankfully because my father gave me amar chitra katha i knew that answer but amongst the three and in, four indians sorry sitting in over there only i knew the answer the remaining three did not and most interestingly one of them was from maharashtra which does the ganesh puja this thing like right? and if anybody who is listening like without going to the internet you should try it out to see why is that called as uh, ek danta and i'll give you the answer kind of thing right so the deal is like the and again so let's check we is he knew the story or his son knew the story no no he so I'll let me finish that story then right so the so just to give the context kind of thing so so the so lord ganesha is called as ek dant so lord ganesha had this the uh, Ved Vyas is the one who is credited with writing Mahabharata, right? And uh, with telling this Mahabharata, he was reciting Mahabharata, and Lord Ganesha was the one who was writing it up, right? And the deal with Lord Ganesha and and Ved Vyas was that if you stop writing, I'm the, I'm going to stop telling you the story. That was the deal, kind of thing, right? The Ganesh Lord Ganesha is writing kind of thing, right? And in between, the nib of the pen breaks, right? Now since the deal is that he can't stop, right? Now Nibh has broken. What can he do, right? So he takes off one of his teeth, and the rest of the Mahabharata is written with this thing, right? So the point is like, so first of all, like the remaining three didn't know the story. I knew it because my dad always gave me that Amachitra Katha. Us me, a story. Otherwise, I, uh, like I would have never known. So I saved that embarrassment kind of thing. But the thing is, the guy is so well read. Like he is teaching his son, right, a story from, and this is the story which. I'm reasonably sure this is my favorite pop quiz uh, as a many a times kind of thing. I'm reasonably sure ninety five percent of the Indians don't know kind of right. So he's teaching a story to his son about perseverance based on an Indian mythology kind of thing. Right? So while you think about this customer service so on and so forth kind of thing, right? But the power of story and communicating a point via that story, I think Jeff has one of the is one of the best in that one, right? Picking up a story and telling you a perseverance guy, right? incredible i think that's an outstanding story uh-huh. uh, i confess mm-hmm. i didn't know the story at least i didn't know first time you told me this i since then i have known uh-huh. but i think the indian mythology is a huge source of very very powerful story uh-huh. and very relevant less- relevant lessons uh-huh. and hopefully i think in this podcast sometime you know we'll get time to uh-huh. delve deeper into that uh, all right mukri now let's talk about your entrepreneurial journey not your uh, significant entrepreneurial journey and i think that also had two phases first phase so i think It was probably 2010, 11. You got into grocery e-commerce, and I think that's around the time e-commerce was taking off. Even I was also transitioning into fashion e-commerce around the same time frame. And you know, it was on one hand, 2010 to 15, 16 was kind of golden age of e-commerce in India, but it was also coincided by like all companies, including you know, Mintra burning insane amount of money to get to some scale. In retrospect, I think. We created the, we laid the tracks, you know, <laughs> right? So, which is probably going to help create you know better business future. But at some point, you know, you throw your ring in the hat. Also, you in some ways went after the both the largest category and the hardest category. Right. So let's let's talk about that. Initially, what what convinced you? You know, and you already said roti kapda maka so many times. You know, was that one of the factor of starting you know grocery retail company? So. so the, the the starting point of uh, grocery right like uh, so this was the time like uh, make my trip had w- gone public in 2010 kind of thing i was almost like 7 8 months post ipo and uh, 
in some sense i was not very enjoying the the, the not as per the job but the direction that me patru wanted to take kind of thing so i didn't see myself uh, fit in over there kind of thing right so obviously the plan was to do a next startup kind of thing right so <clears throat> so the reason to like uh, uh, I, i have already quoted right right like uh, what a brahman can say right the best way to predict the future is to create one kind of thing right so so the starting point was was actually personal and i strongly believe that whatever problem statement that you're trying to solve kind of thing you should have gone through the pain point i should be passionate about it that one right so the starting point to do the grocery was like uh, julie my wife was pregnant she was 6 months pregnant and then uh, we were standing in the checkout queue of a grocery store right so this was easy day in the walmart stuff <clears throat> and uh, we were probably fourth or fifth in the queue the guy in the front was fighting over some change right that classic one right ki 2 rupees change nahi clear se lo aap and then the guy was saying ek less nahi chahiye mujhe paise chahiye and i was saying boss everything in this basket right from the ashirwad data to everything else i exactly know right why do i have to come and make this purchase kind of right so this so started as a pain point personal pain point and then that triggered ki kyu nahi ho sakta hai kind of thing right like uh, and uh, then i said ki anyways i want to do the way next startup kind of thing right this looks like an interesting category kind of thing obviously like uh, we we have lived in us and bay area webban was very popular at some point of time and i was a customer right and all of us knew the debacle of webban right it was largely driven by ki the good innovation kind of thing but they were not focused on bottom line and anyways i was a very bottom line guy right? so the category attracted me that the uh, grocery as a category looked interesting right but also there was a sense of maturity ki boss very smart set of people who try to do webban did not work out kind of thing and in general gro- retail is a tough market and within retail grocery is a even tougher kind of thing right so So, so if you look at the India landscape in 2011, right? Like uh, the you guys were there in terms of Mintra, then there was Flipkart and Snapdeal kind of thing. But still, I would say early days of internet e-commerce in India kind of thing, right? Uh, so, what was very clear, and given the bottom line that I was in, right? So, what was very clear was that people are spending an insane amount of money in customer acquisition, whether it's discount or whatever kind of thing, right? And logistics. Kind of and those were the two, in some sense, if you look at e-commerce, like these were the two places where a lot of cash was going in, kind of thing, right? And is there a way to optimize that one, right? I feel that grocery as a category, right? Given, let's assume, unlike let's assume fashion or watch or any other apparel, uh, any other category, right? Wherein your purchase is maybe like twice or thrice a year, kind of thing, right? Grocery is literally four times a month, kind of thing, right? With that repeat purchase behavior, right? So if the if the uh experience is good right you will again buy again 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 which means the retention is going to be high if the retention is high then overall your cost of customer acquisition over a long period of time should be quite uh, low kind of thing right likewise with the huge volume that you are serving kind of thing your chances of optimizing logistics is going to be much better kind of thing right so those were the so while i picked up the category as a grocery but if you go deep b- below the plan was to see customer acquisition cost and the logistics cost and is there a play that can that can be done there right plus on top of it like in terms of the uniqueness right and there's a reason why you picked up the word now so if you look in 2011 if you ordered something for many of the e-commerce this thing the typical delivery was like t plus 3 or t plus 4 days or t plus 2 at best kind of thing right so you order on a monday you will get it on a wednesday or a thursday or a friday kind of thing right so the goal was that if nothing else in the grocery if you can build up a same day delivery network there's a value to the same day delivery kind of thing now whole lot of people are doing the same day delivery but the same day delivery we felt that we have, if a network can be built on the same so for a same day delivery kind of thing that itself is quite valuable kind of right so that was the genesis of starting up now right category being large internally let's try to see if the customer acquisition and the logistics can be optimized and if nothing else the logistics itself can be a large enough uh, uh, business kind of thing and the goal that we had set for ourselves was not along the top line but is there a way we can improve the bottom line kind of thing is there a way this can be operationally meaningful right so that's how the journey started right so you were one with uh, so going after the large category which are <laughs> high frequency use case low margin category and so from day one you wanted to build a highly efficient supply chain mm-hmm. and i think to a large extent you did so in the let's first talk about what went well in the um zopno journey so what went well right and what eventually uh zopno in some sense transformed into zopsmart now right what went well is the reason why we are making a whole lot of money right now kind of right so what went well was our uh 
ability to take the decision that we are going to build up the most interesting piece of tech stack and other right so and i still believe we have a a a, a very strong edge when it comes to the entire omni channel tech stack that we have built right whether it's the way we have built up the front end website the mobile app or the inventory management system or the warehouse management system or the logistics picking packaging so on and so forth right so our continued focus on improving the bottom line by using technology i would say has been there since 2011 kind of thing right so that i would say has got went well and that's the reason why we are making money right now like that uh, tens and twenties millions of dollars that we are making is because of uh, of uh, that investment kind of thing right so i would say that went well kind of thing right what didn't go well in the earlier part uh, 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 was like uh, uh, the the team formation i would say so when i started there were two of us as founders who started that part up as well and then after a year like both of us wanted to take the company in two different directions kind of thing right thankfully given the zoosis experience that this time i was much more matured like and you know, there was still some rash dissimilar kind of thing there but i think the very fact that zopnos survive and zopsmart is doing phenomenally well gives me the comfort and the feeling that unlike zoosis this time getting the wrong person of the bus and making sure that the bus still continues to run i would give ourselves a very strong mark and i think that and that is purely reflected in the current financials that we have right so what went well was the investment in the technology and being very persistent about it that despite like and we had external investors we raised close to 15 odd million there was a constant pressure of growth because 2011 12 the entire thing was grow 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 and grow kind of thing right and where we were totally focused on bottom line bottom line bottom line kind of so the persistency of using technology to keep on improving wherein we strongly believe that is valuable i think that was fantastic and we are seeing the results in our health downside i think team wise i think we should have been slightly more mature but again on the positive within literally 12 13 14 months i took the decision that uh, if this is like get the wrong person of the bus kind of thing and this time i think at least financially we agreed on a number and then i personally as ah, so this is another interesting point since you are talking about the entrepreneurship journey right that and this i learned at amazon right if there is a mess up then you take that accountability the company should not be penalized for that one right so i was wrong in picking up the founder like i'm not saying the person was bad kind of thing but i'll say that we were not m- meant to run the company together right so the fact that within 15 months i took the decision to take control and kind of thing right that was i think um, again learning from zoss and the past experience kind of thing and i took the call that we f- finally agreed on a financial number and uh, and something that i'm still very proud of is like uh, while the company we had raised money so the company had money and i could have gone back and dipped into the company reserve and uh, <laughs> used that company reserve to square off uh, the other founder kind of thing but i took the call that hey this was my mistake right like i should have been more uh, cautious in do- doing this one right and also go into co-founder thing right and one of the things you know i have seen in most entrepreneurial setup the co-founder dynamics is most of the thing that goes wrong and a lot of people are not able to recover because they don't know how to deal with you know there are just friction continues for a long period of time sometimes say people get into ki abhi tu chala le main back back se le leta hu aur nahi to abhi main chalunga to back it's just not a efficient system right so and you have also you know multiple times in fact you dealt with that and, and eventually i think things you know worked out outstandingly well with you know uh, new as co-founder who is you know currently running zo as op smart with you what are your learnings like what are what goes into getting the co-founder dynamics right if you have to do it again or advise someone ki co-founder theek se banana hai kya karna chahiye so it's 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 a tough one right? it's a, it's, a, it's a tough one because like if you look at it right as a humans there is a hierarchy that is there always right matlab like, koi bhi org structure banta to ek ki hai and then this thing is there right right the issue with the co-founder is all of us and you have two right and then in an ideal world we say ki are एकदम क्लीन सेग्रीगेशन है सेल्स मार्केटिंग आप कर लोगे और टेक्नोलॉजी हम कर लेते हैं नथिंग राइट फंड रेजिंग आप कर लो स्टेप्स का राइट बट द फैक्ट इज दैट क्लीन सेग्रीगेशन डज नॉट हैपन राइट सेल्स मार्केटिंग विल हैव सम एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम टेक दिस वन सो फो तो कितना भी आप कर लो दैट या कुछ तो आपका ओवरलैप रहेगा ही एंड इट इज दिस एरियाज ऑफ ओवरलैप विच इज वेयर द फ्रिक्शन विल कम कर नथ राइट सो हैविंग अ फ्रिक्शन विथ अ को फाउंडर इज वेरी 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 नेचुरल राइट लाइक आई एम I am yet to come across where people say that there is no friction. Hi nahi, kind of thing, right? If there is somebody saying that I don't have a friction with the co-founder, then that person is certainly lying. Kind of thing, right? 
Now there are some friction that you can live with. Both of you can, or if there are three, then all all of you can live with some of the friction, right? There are some friction that you cannot live with, kind of right? So it's important with that. Us type of friction, other then you have a straight talk, right? Kind of right? And, and those are the talks wherein you have to keep the emotions out, right? Ki emotions ko hata karke, yeah, right? What is important in in in, in cases like this is to understand the perspective. What exactly? Every person will have a different perspective about what does he or she wants to achieve. Kind of right? Easiest one to do is the financial one. If the other co-founder has an expectation that I am like, doing this, and I am not saying it's wrong, right? That I am doing this because of this kind of financial, then that's the easiest one, right? That you figure out some of money and then pay off. So in which case you say if it's the points of contention is very strong kind of thing, then you absolutely will have to go get the person of the bus, right? I don't think there is any two ways about that, one, right? And these are hard things because when you are working with a co-founder, there is a good chance that you will know the family, the kid, this, that, so on. All those things are there, right? And we are getting the person of the bus. You will think about those things. Ki yar, I am eating family ke saath khana khaya hon, right? Uski beti mujhe chacha ji bolati and all these other things. All this you will go through that part, right? And that's the hard part of doing it. But then you have to see that hey. If you truly believe that this company is your baby, right? Then you have to the way you have to think that hey, this is my kid, and for the if the kid has to be protected, right? I go to polio injection or polio injection, right? But the right, this injection, then a diphtheria, then that injection, life will be a child, right? So, which is a fact of life is there, right? So, at that point, if you think the friction is too high, you have to get rid, right? But getting the co-founder, like uh, all of us do the mistake in the early stages of life, right? If we try to get somebody, the my best friend, right? And what happens typically the best friend. Will have the same skill set as you, right? Both of you are good at tech, and then marketing, sales. We don't know what they have. What can I get another, right? So getting a complimentary somebody with a complimentary this thing is uh, always beneficial. Sometimes, sometimes getting an additional person into the bus actually takes care of the friction, right? Because the friction is a point. We are not agreeing on it, but here is this person whom we can trust. It may not be necessarily at a co-founder level, but somebody senior enough. Okay, so boss, a B S M level. That so just go back to the bus analogy. Will a person getting in the bus fix the things? Very good. First of all, get the complimentary co-founder. Friction will remain. Somebody getting into the bus if they fix, well and good. Otherwise, so as you are saying, I think it is probably you know we can summarize by saying you know the getting a co-founder dynamics is very tough. It is tough, man. Yeah. And I think so people just need to approach it that way. If you do justice to the complexity of the problem, then people are smart enough to you know figure it out. You know, have a transparent conversation, have a clear decision-making framework if needed. Somebody moves on and so on, but I think people should not assume that oh, best friend has company chalu karte hain to chal jayega. I think it doesn't matter who you start. In fact, especially with best friend, it is chances of not working out is even that much higher. So I think this is. But having a right co-founder also can create huge leverage because it's an entrepreneurship lonely journey. You know, a lot of times you are struggling alone. If you are able to divide the work, you know, equally and so on. And someone when you are having bad day or bad month, someone else can step up. So, but yeah. It's it's not that straightforward, right? And you have seen it multiple times. And and, and, and I, it's like like I said, I have still another thirty thirty five years of professional life left, right? Co-founder friction dynamics, and but I agree with you that starting a company with a co-founder, at least for me, is like uh, is a fantastic thing, right? Because then there are people with whom you can discuss at least some part of the loneliness at the top and so on and so forth gets uh, addressed. Right? No, absolutely. Personally, also for me, whenever I start something, I always start with a co-founder. I think I'll continue doing that in future. It hasn't been easy. I think you know, with the most co-founders, you know, at some point it comes to an end for a variety of reasons. I think that's been a case in my journey as well. But uh, yeah, it's a just very important factor of starting company. You mentioned multiple times, these past years, I have saved my career. And you, because you, I have not know out your age, but you said you are forty-seven. Not forty-seven. I don't. I don't have any hammer. So, le, it's a you know forty-seven plus thirty-five, you know eighty plus year. And by the way, I'm exactly same camp. I don't ever want to retire. In fact, in this part, we will talk a lot about longevity, health. You know the role that having a productive engagement plays in your life, etc. What is your method of frame of thinking? You know why that long? You know thinking about working well past your eighties. What's the thought process? So I'm into the retail category kind of thing, right? And I see the impact, right? That some of the work that we are doing is having on the retail as a category, and I'm hoping that we can replicate it uh, in multiple other categories, and hopefully at some stage, uh, like much beyond retail as well, kind of thing, right? So short answer is what drives me is the amount of impact that I see in this thing, right? Now impact can be less as you by improving the logistics, right? Saying that hey. I got rid of X many trucks across the world, 
which leads to a lower carbon footprint, which leads to a better nature kind of thing, right? Like, and certainly, right? I like uh, uh, that makes you feel, the satisfaction bucket gets this thing. And in this case, it also leads to a success bucket because that particular stuff gets me $5 million of revenues as well, right? So that's a perfect co combination kind of thing, right? And I still feel that given the other potential that at least I can see in the retail uh, kind of thing, right? Even 35 years is less. <laughs> I wish I, like, and I'm hoping with medical science improving, like, 35 years is at the bare minimum. Like, I think at the current stage, I think I'll certainly go to, like, 90 without going insane kind of thing. My wife may have different opinion, but still. But thanks to the medical science, if it can, if if we can extend our life to, let's say, 125, 130, I'll love to work for another 60 years because the impact that I feel that... Uh, me along with Zopsman, the rest of the folks that Zopsman can create is humongous kind of thing, right? And personally, I like to pick up categories or problem statement wherein like uh, internally I have this, th uh, this thing that uh, you're always at the beginning of infinity, right? So when you're setting up a goal, right? And I, when I look at anything in the retail, right? So if you look at retail, right? Mutamoti retail is at some level it's very simple, at some level it's very complex. Yeah. Right? Retail is about, all about a large selection of product delivered at a good price and a great service. Ye tini pehle rap ka. Product, price, service. Kar rahe, right? So, ek sang mein kip here, right? But, ek ek ke andar ab jau ke, right? What is the right product selection? Kar rahe, right? So, maybe the right product selection for Mukesh will be very different for an Abhinav, will be very different for a Joe, so on and so forth, right? See, each one of them is, in fact, if you look at it, it's an infinite problem. Like, like, uh, so, the fact that we can create an impact the fact that the problem statement is so large, right, that it's, a, it's literally belongs to the infinite category kind of thing. Like, the jitne saal rahe, maza, the, kaam mein maza hai, thik hai, madalab, side mein paise ban rahe, which is a good thing kind of thing, to maza hai rahe, paise ban rahe, impact hai rahe, kind of thing, and it is aligning with my overall long-term vision. You know, right. right. Like, personal vision, right, that my grandkid will be born in this thing. So, if it, it is aligning, right, then what's the point of retirement? But the retire correct, correct? And amazing, I mean, it's, this comes with a byproduct of, you know, you're creating a very long-term runway for you. Mm -hmm. And long-term runway, you know, it creates an ability, opportunity to compound things, you know, you take, you know, we all know basic math, right? 1.3 raised to power, you know, 30 okay. is a number that we can't, you know, comprehend, you know, it's that big, right? So, and second thing is also, I think, from even health point of view, mental wellness point of view, having that productive engagement mm -hmm. is extremely important. You know, the whole thing of retiring after 60, 65, and not engaging something else creates a vacuum that I think a lot of people struggle with, right? So hopefully, I think we'll see. I mean, yeah, and, and and that also brings an important part, right? But if what you're doing right now, but if the thought process is that retire, करने के बाद जो चीज़ में मज़ा आता है वो मैं करना चाहता हूँ, then why are you doing right now? Exactly. Right. So so for me, the entire concept of retirement is like very alien, right? I am thoroughly enjoying what I am doing, kind of thing. I am seeing the impact. सब कुछ हो रहा है, right? Then why retirement? Like, मतलब कि जो कर रहे हो तो मतलब कि retire this is this is what I want to do throughout my life का नतर तो तो जो concept of retire करके हम ये करेंगे so going back to Zobna journey so as you know you launched the company you got into grocery retail you know retail had a lot of tailwind some you know you grew got to different significant scale but you were trying to build the company with the you know very frugal mindset and optimizing for bottom line not for top line but the environment different only currency at that time was it has changed now, thankfully. Mm -hmm. At the time, how fast you're growing? What is your month over month growth rate, week over week growth rate, and so on, right? Irrespective of how much money you're burning. And somewhere you made different choices, which was not optimal for that time. At some point, you know, you raised some money, but uh, eventually the game became, can you raise hundreds of millions of dollars? Mm -hmm. And because you were not playing a scale game, you were not able to raise or choose. Mm -hmm. and, and then company went to, I think, deep introspection phase for, you know, I think 2016 to 18. 18 almost, yeah. So this, let's, let's go through that fear in slow motion because by the time you were spending you know, four or five years trying to build, you know, Zop now and, you know, things were not lining up well at some point. A lot of, I don't, you know, even your internal investors, external investors were not supporting the company. I think you put in a lot of your personal money yeah. to, for the company to survive. Mm -hmm. So what was your inner dialogue and what were the, 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 what, what struggles you went through in those two, three years? So that was certainly like a struggle, maybe maybe the, not the most appropriate choice of what I, I would still say kind of thing, like it was... Uh, uh, or maybe it was a good thing was it was maybe struggle is the right word but it was not tensed right so it was uh eh wo hindi mein wo aata na pehle samachar mein aata tha right sthiti tanavpurn ke niyantran mein hai to tumne niyantran mein aake rakha to thodi tanavpurn thi 
बट नियंत्रण था लिस्पोर्ट दैट वे आई थिंक तनाव था लाइक तनाव है एंड 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 द इफ यू लुक एट दैट एरर राइट लाइक 2016 दिस थिंग राइट व्हेन लॉट होल लॉट ऑफ थिंग वाज अबाउट ग्रोथ राइट पर्सनली लाइक आई लाइक दिस सेइंग राइट यू कान गो टू अ मदरसा एंड से दे आर नॉट टीचिंग अ बाइबल राइट बिकॉज उनको वही समझ में आ रहा था राइट उनको वही समझ में आ रहा था कि ग्रोथ इज द ओनली थिंग सो आई हैड नो राइट्स टू कंप्लेन दैट वन एंड इन द ओन राइट्स दे आर डूइंग द राइट थिंग राइट लाइक for the funds of the so 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 for the state right so the fact that i had that maturity ki that you can't go to a madrasa and say they are not teaching the bible right that was good because then i knew but on the same note right i believed in what we were building that up kind of the right so was we frustrated that we were not certainly we tried to raise money it's not that ki we didn't try like it would be very foolish of me to say ki was 15 million time khush the kind of the right uh so but we were not able to raise money right so i was very clear that Uh, were we desperate to raise money absolutely we were desperate to raise that money but on the same note i didn't want to like raise money on a bunch of lies that i didn't believe in right so it w- would have been very easy for me to go and say ki acha ye kijiye aur uske baad main growth pe focus karunga kind of thing and then after raising the money uh, i go back to uh, which is by the way what one of the investor did tell me right ki i know for sure that even if you raise money you will be bloody focused on doing the tech so yeah, wait and switch for marriage was okay but not for raising money <laughs> for not for raising money right ah right. uh, so there is a bit of dichotomy in over there but, uh, but i was clear ki wo nahi karenge kind of right so 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 that that certainly made things quite tense right like uh, in the process we lost some good employees as well which was very painful because obviously the market was hot kind of thing right so lots of people left as well kind of thing some of them were, 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 were really good kind of right So certainly that was a quite disappointing. Ki log ja rahe hain, but I understand like if somebody is paying you five x the salary, then why not? Uh, kind of thing. Right? So we were investors were not convinced. We couldn't raise money. Kind of thing. Employees were uh, uh, were not uh, sort of like sticking to us. Uh, kind of thing, right? But the most important part was I still had that belief, like the seeing that uh, even with the not that we were very large when it came to the grocery, right? But the specific segment of customer which was like the convenience seeker, right? I knew that this product was कुछ दम है right so I knew कि there is a fundamental business that can be built on top of it kind of thing right so and again if I look at why is it happening in over there is because of the investment that we had done in the technology right so some of it was belief right honestly some of it was also stupidness kind of thing right the right thing like sometimes you you can go back like now Zopsmart is doing well but let's assume if it was not doing well people would say यार दो या सोलह में आप कहीं भी चले जाते हैं आपको कोई अच्छी मिल जाती है right you could like uh, you could have joined one of this emerging companies as a, at a senior level kind of thing and still made a good amount of money so on and so, uh, uh, and so forth kind of thing right but i had an inherent belief that what we are building is is good so how long did that period last where you were kind of in the doldrums not sure what the future of the company but you were not not giving up i think you started putting a lot of your personal capital kitna almost it was a good 2 years 2 years so between 2016 to 18 kind of thing i said like Except for the two million of stash that I kept for the family, like I still had some some money in, uh, uh, left, kind of thing, which I said ki so uh, and I genuinely feel right like uh, uh, and uh, that uh, the company is my baby, right? So it's like so for me putting in uh, outside the money I had for Julian and Amanda, kind of thing, right? I said ki was ye to paisa isi bache ke liye, kind of thing, right? So, मतलब कि if my kid needs the money, right, kind of thing, why will I not invest, kind of thing, right? So for so putting the money was the easier part of the decision karna the right laying the tracks was the tougher part karna the right ki kya karna hai kind of thing so i knew that we have what we had done something was 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 valuable kind of thing i knew that this business theek hai matlab we were looking at the convenience seeker which is a smaller set but thode paise hai isme hai but also i knew that this business is not very large at least from the indian context perspective right i knew that the discount seekers is almost like 95% of the business 5% it is in over here So if I really want to raise money for survival, so on and so forth, is to focus on that, right? So that practicality was there. But on the same note, I understood that, boss, that is not my DNA, right? That means that if you wear how much you share your clothes, then you will be the only one wearing it, right? So I think, boss, this is not it, right? And I knew that that will be a slippery slope, right? That if you talk about money, raise your money, then after that, I have to live that life, kind of thing, and that I was not willing. And I had some cash, so I said, "Okay, let's put it in, right?" So, so, so I knew value is. I didn't know how to monetize that value, kind of thing, right? and that's where i would say uh two things right like uh, that's a very low face kind of thing right like you will did you have like self doubt at that point uh, it will be lie to say ki i didn't have self doubt right like uh, so i had a, a 
थोड़ा था ऐसा मतलब कि इज इज एज यू से राइट कि बीस साल हो गए विदाउट एनी थिंग सिग्निफिकेंट टू शो कर लेते राइट सो तो थोड़ा सेल्फ डाउट था कि इज द राइट थिंग्स ऑन दर्ल्ड बट मोर देन द सेल्फ डाउट समटाइम्स आई यूज टू फील बैड अबाउट द फैमिली राइट एंड एंड दिस प्योर ऑनस ट्रूथ कर लेते राइट वी हैड मनी ऐसा नहीं था कि ये है बट आई ऑलवेज से कि यार नहीं पैसे है तो जॉब्स में डालना जॉपनों में डालना कर लेते राइट सो समटाइम्स आई फील बैड दैट मैन आई सी लाइक नॉट दैट लाइक माई वाइफ और द किड विल कंप्लेन राइट यू सी यो कल इज गोइंग टू यूरोप जा रहे हैं कोई छुट्टी मनाने ये जा रहे हैं और हम लोग कुर्ग जा रहे हैं कहना था तो थोड़ा कभी क्या लगता था अभी क्यों नहीं जाते यूरोप एक का दुक्का गए कहना थिंग बट आई बाई द वे गए एंड देन आई फाइनली डिसाइड की कुर्ग इज बड़ा देन यूरोप राइट आई एम नॉट लाइक राइट दोनों का अपने बट 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 द पॉइंट वॉज कि वो था थोड़ा खराब लगता था राइट वैसे कि यार बिकॉज आई न्यू दिट बिकॉज ऑफ फाइनेंशियल रीजन वी आर नॉट मेकिंग दैट ट्रिप चलो लेस गेट डन विद दैट राइट सो दैट समटाइम्स यूज टू बॉदर मीन कि इज इज द राइट थिंग दैट आई एम डूइंग फॉर द फैमिली बिकॉज दिस टाइम इज नंबर इज ने फोर ईयर्स ओल्ड नंबर सो वो तभी कभी खराब लगता था कि अरे ये इज इज द राइट थिंग है ना तेरे सो दो थिंग्स यूज टू हर्ट बट मैंने लुक डैट लाइक गिवन दैट लाइक आई लिटरली इज कंसिडर राइट दैट जॉपनो इज माई सेकेंड केट राइट सो वैन आई लुक एट द सेकेंड केट ऐसे ना इसमें डालना है इसमें राइट तो सो चलो गुड यू क्लैरिफाइड टू किड्स किड्स सो आप सिंग किड्स एंड ड्रिंक सो सो द द आई सेड दिस द सेकंड किड लाइक एंड बाय द वे लाइक बोथ नमन एंड जॉपनो आर लाइक नमन इज बोर्न इन अगस्त 2011 जॉपनो इज सितंबर राइट सो दीस आर लाइक लिटरली फॉर मी दीस आर ट्विन्स राइट सो सो उसमें डाला ठीक है राइट सो लगा था कि वैल्यू है बट इसको कैसे मोनेटाइज करना वो नहीं था राइट एंड द that low period kind of thing right there, there is uh, and uh, you'll be surprised who said that like i'm not sure if you know this right and uh, this have you heard this thing right not uh, let me see if i can pro- uh, uh, recite it correctly not everything that can be counted counts and not everything that counts can be counted yeah wow. guess who had said that albert einstein hmm. you not expect to count right so not everything that can be counted like so matlab hum log itne cheez ye karte hai does it really count right like you can even count up a business metrics does that like does it really count in the long run this thing right like, even from business right ki 500 metrics dekhte hain reality mein do teen metrics are the most important kind of right and same thing that uh, that 2016 18 was the second part of the phrase right not everything that counts can be counted right so for instance like 16 18 mein i realized right the values of friendship right do you have a 5 am friend right जैसे मतलब यार इन लो पॉइंट ऑफ योर लाइफ कैन होते राइट कि कोई है घर में जाके किसी के घर में या छः बजे सुबह यार कि आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक कैन मी जस्ट हैव ए कप ऑफ कॉफी एंड देन आई एल गोइंग टू लीव कैन इथ राइट सो मतलब समटाइम्स आई कॉल यू समटाइम्स यू कैन तो सो दैट फेज मेड मी रियलाइज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द टाइम स्टैंड का कोर्ट राइट कि इफ यू हैव डू यू रियली हैव दोस पीपल राइट डू यू रियली हैव दोस पीपल लाइक हु आर लिटली अनकाउंटेबल कैन नो थिंग लाइक कि दीज आर द पीपल हु रियली काउंट्स एन राइट सो सो दैट more than the business taught me a lot about the human relationship right like uh, so 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 ek ho gaya thoda the emotional part ek ho gaya thoda value wala part ki bhai ye tha but but the confidence was still there ki the value is going to be there right but the most important part was the luck thing right so what happened was for us was like that was the phase right so we knew that we have a good product kind of right and again remember right and i think i mentioned before right my email signature used to be jai hind throughout right so i was so much like focused on india kind of thing right and then like pure luck this thing this thing right amazon was in the process of acquiring whole foods right so all of a sudden from the business and moment perspective everybody started to feel right ki pehle lagta tha ki omni channel is a good to have right for if you go and talk to a retailer they'll say are ha hai lekin matlab either there'll be two camps right people say ya to online hi chalne wala hai ya offline wale bolenge yaar online is a flash in the pan online wale bolenge we are there for long term but dono mein sambandh nahi tha right when amazon acquired whole foods right when the process was happening right all of a sudden every retailer started to think yaar walmart ek bada offline store tha wo online ghus raha hai amazon was used to be all online wo offline ghus raha hai to matlab ki kuch to chal raha hai right ki sabse bada offline wala idhar ja raha hai yaar to correct i have to be a part of the strategy right pure luck we were at the right point with the right thing with the right solution right at zom like we what we had built the thanks to the 6 7 years of technology investment we are the perfect stack we are the perfect stack to say ki look if you are an offline retailer we can start your omni channel journey in literally 4 weeks kind of right more than the amazon stock value the fact that amazon looked at the whole foods thing that was our best marketing tool because uske pehle kisi ke paas we knew that this is valuable and we were trying to sell so on and so forth kind of thing uske pehle ha sochenge karenge ye karenge right uske baad jaao na 
गुड टू हैव टू मस्ट टू हैव राइट ऑल ऑफ अ सडन इन स्पैन ऑफ वन क्वार्टर एवरीबडी वैसे कि बस ऑमनी चैनल इज नॉट गुड टू हैव इट्स अ मस्ट टू राइट सो बाय द टाइम बिकॉज यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग योर टेक्स टैक यू हैव द टेक्नोलॉजी रेडी एंड लॉट ऑफ दिस यू नो इंटरनेशनल ग्रोसरी रिटेलर्स दे वॉन्टेड टू बिकम ऑमनी चैनल प्लेयर्स and you connected with them you start selling your technology stack and you basically become a yeah. saas company so first was you know you said uh, you know that you know that lonely period of 2 years i think every startup goes through that i don't know any successful startup which does not go through those you know 2 3 year period and i feel you know i including amazon you went to amazon were at the brink of you know dying at some point right so i think the startup character gets built you also really figure out who you are Like then you really get tested. You have to ask deep questions. Like, I'm a con, you know, and that introspection, self-reflection, what really matters to me, what doesn't matter to me, all the fluff, you know, all the pseudo concept, and everything goes away, and you are just in you know, front of naked reality. Like you know, ki ek dum aate dal ka bhav. Tumhare kya literally literally aate dal ka bhav. But sab ko bola chal jata hai, right? And that you know, being able to survive. Now surviving is not necessarily purely skill. It's you know, little bit of. Persistence, you know, little bit of support system that you talked about, little bit of you know, really be honest to yourself what matters to you and what doesn't matter yeah. to you. But the companies that come out of that, you know, usually tend to do really well afterwards because yeah. all the fluffy stuff you know goes out of the way. You are much more focused. You are only more authentic. So that's one part. Like you know, anyone who is, I think, thinking of starting a career in entrepreneurship, need to mentally prepare. Why? 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 For us, because I was second time entrepreneur, so we raised a lot of money. First four years went like you know, just everything went well. Cool. Uh, I used to talk to Ankit Yar. Um, sub startup main, jahan tak mujhe pata hai, you go through very tough phase. Hamara kab aayega? To hamara to dikhne raha hai toh. And then COVID happens, right? We are here. We are so like literally, you know, <laughs> draw from the sky, <laughs> and we have to go through that, reinvent the company, and all of that. So I think that one is important part. Second is you said. You know, luck played a very big role, which also not to be undermined. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you stayed in the game for ten years, so you were kind of prepared to get lucky, right? If you didn't invest in technology stack, if you shut down the company in twenty seventeen, even if Amazon did the whole food thing, you know, you would not have benefit from that. So like putting yourself in that position for long period of time, so that you will actually catch that lucky break when it happens. And, and this brings an important point, kind of thing, right? Like keep. So I agree. Like if you are there for long term, like kind of thing, I'm yet to come. Long period of time. It will play out. It will it it will eventually uh, 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 play out, kind of thing. Right? And whenever you're looking at a problem statement or whatever you're doing, kind of thing, right? It took me a time to figure it out that the word uncertain and risk are two different things. Right? First, mm-hmm. I thought that uncertain risk same thing, kind of thing, right? And risk is like rolling a dice, and then it's like, "Yeah, one of the chances." And you say one by six. If it's a fair dice, it's one by six, kind of thing, right? Kind of thing, right? अनसर्टन में है कि आउटकम आपको पता नहीं है राइट सो लॉट्स ऑफ टाइम यू आर एट ए फेज वेयर एन थिंग्स आर अनसर्टन राइट कि क्या होगा पता ही नहीं क्या होने वाला है कि बिकॉज डाइस में तो पता है कि वन आउट ऑफ सिक्स इज गोइंग टू कम आउट राइट सो यू शुड बी क्लियर वॉट आर द टाइम्स वेन थिंग्स आर अनसर्टन एंड वॉट आर द टाइम्स थिंग्स आर रिस्क सो टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू एटीन पीरियड वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी राइट बिकॉज वी डिट नो कि क्या है राइट बट इफ यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग डीप इन टू दैट वन राइट eventually you will move from that uncertain period to the risk one right so for me like personally the big thing was removing away the jayanth right the fixation right and it was a very emotional decision for me right like ki jayanth jayanth pure 12 years se likh raha hai kind of thing removing that and my now email signature has a very neutral one regards kind of right it may look like your two word getting changed into one kind of thing so on and so forth but for me it was a very very big emotional this thing right and that like the moment because it was a mindset change right ki matlab while i knew even if after the time lens today's experiment it has to be global so on and so forth kind of thing but pura samaya nahi tha right and that also you know resonates well with me i think the way i am now looking at india opportunity you know we use this phrase for india or from india i think both are leveraging you know india potential and strength you know the bigger you become as a global company you know you are earning in dollars you are creating so much employment opportunity here mm-hmm. so that is also in yeah. almost very directly mm-hmm. contribute to india impact yeah. just coming back to zops mart right so you basically become this saas company you had this omni channel tech mm-hmm. stack which some of these you know global grocery retailers found very differentiated and now you're doing you know somewhere in the you know range of 100 million dollar annual revenue 60% margin business you know just you know few of you you guys own the company literally your destiny is in your hand mm-hmm. so having gone through the journey and having now this platform 
as, as I'm saying, I'm realizing, you know, the only heavily cash flow companies, positive companies are all start with Z. Zo, Zeroda, now Zopsmart. Agla, Z se chalo. Z se chalo. That's the only way to make money. Nahi to, obviously, basal utharan paygar paygar utharoge. So, but there is another side of you. I think wo regular khethi wadi bhi karte. Sab kuch high tech bolne ki zarurat nahi hai. Uske baare mein kya nahi pata. So that that regular khethi, so that is the hydroponics thing, right? right? Regular khethi wadi is just for like uh, just to some get some peaceful time to support that. But mm-hmm. another, right? So there are two, right? Like uh, one is to so I do have. Uh, a fairly large farm kind of thing. What happened there? Yeah, uh, all kinds of things, right? Right from this season, mangoes were fantastic kind of thing. Bunch of fruit. 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 Bunch So depending on the system, banana plantations, so on and so forth. Yeah, the Bangalore me, Bangalore is outskirts, no? Like it's in this thing, but the, the but it's more for like going there and then like uh, you get time with nature kind of things, so sit down, relax, those, those kind of stuff. And plus, like uh, um, it may sound like uh, economically very foolish kind of thing, but I do have um, a very stupid uh, attraction towards land. Like, I like land. I like that it's land. अच्छा <laughs> But hey, that's your thing. Right. But you do a lot of interesting projects. You know, other interesting project you are doing is this um, summarize. Sorry, yeah. So mm-hmm. there you are able to. I think the way you explained to me, you are able to. You build this AI software. You take a book and uh, you automatically summarize the book in ten, fifteen pages, like keeping the complete gist, emotion, high point of the story of the book. Right. So someone can read the book in fifteen minutes. You know that sounds fascinating. You know why are you doing it and how? How far from prime time is this? I love books. Like I, but reading a book takes eight to ten hours. Can I use it to like really get the joy of reading a book in out of the fifteen twenty minutes? Yeah, but I feel like so. So let me start with why, you know, thing, and then a bit on the how, and then this thing. Right? So just like many things in life, this one also came as a personal pain point. Right. So interesting. You talked about the COVID thing, right? So, but thankfully for us, like unlike the pure food journey, right. Covid was fantastic for us from a business perspective because people again didn't have an even before Covid we started to do well but Covid made सबको चाहिए था हमने channel this thing right so business actually grew up quite a lot uh, uh, during that time right so at the beginning of the Covid like now you are locked inside the house कर नथिंग right uh, then again I'm living in outskirts it was not like locked locked but still रह 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 and I had like one sixty odd hundred books right like जिसका uh, literally किताब या तो खरीदा है या तो Kindle पे या तो Audible पे या physical book है कर नथिंग right कवर के अलावा कुछ नहीं देखा है कहना थे राइट सो सो आई रियलाइज लाइक दैट टाइम आई वॉज फोर्टी फाइव राइट कि यार अभी एक सौ साठ बुक है एंड इट्स नॉट दैट आई एम ए बैड रीडर आई एल डू लाइक टेन बुक्स है ईयर कहना थिंग सो स्लाइटली लाइक मंथ में एक लाइक हल्का सा ज्यादा राइट सो ये एंड आई डिड द बेसिक बैक ऑफ द न्यूलप कैलकुलेशन दैट आई गेट लाइक थर्टी फाइव बुक्स ऑन एन एवरेज रिकमेंडेशन टू रीड कर रहे थे तो हर एक साल पच्चीस का बैकलॉग बनता जा रहा है बनता जा रहा है तो देर इज नो वे आई कैन क्लियर दैट आप राइट and i i'm done with reading the harry potters of the of, of the world kind of right so so eventually i realized ki ye to badhta hi rahega this the right so then i started using bunch of the standard apps right headway blinkist so on and so forth kind of right they do uh serve a good purpose kind of thing right but at least for the kind of pain point that i had it was not right so at some point i started to feel that these are nothing but an extension of the same thing right like the other cover of the book kind of right so then i said is there a way i can build something which can be more interesting kind of right so still in the early stage personally for me summarize is working out fantastic because it does satisfy my need kind of thing right but to make it prime time like i'm not able to invest as much time as i, I should kind of thing and man probably at some stage i have to find the right but you you personally wrote most of the code for summarize personally i only wrote like i was the only i am the single developer for the, uh, i still like to code So I'm the single developer that does that kind of thing. I think it has come out well. Like it, it is serving, and some sh- I've shared with you as well kind of thing. 
it does come out well, but I still think that a, a lot still needs to be done. So you fi- keep finding this interesting project, whether it's hydroponics or your own farm or you know mm-hmm. building AI software like Summarize, etc. Uh-huh. How do you find time? What motivates you? You know, generally, I mean, you're running a fairly large company which is growing rapidly. I know you take care of mm-hmm. you know, very committed to your family, your health. Mm-hmm. You know, how do you find time for all these things? And you know, what what purpose they serve? You know, for you. So. Uh, so first of all, like finding time right, is uh, not as hard as what people think, right? Like, uh, is the discipline which is a bigger pain point than this? Just like you said, right? Ki kuch bhi ho ja, you sit in front of like a table chair and then be smart looking, right? Whether it's 200 words, 500 or 1000 words, this thing, right? So I think finding time for me is all about discipline. Do you have the discipline? If you have the discipline, time nikal jayega, right? So I would say what has worked for me is like D&D, right? One is the discipline. I am like highly disciplined in some sense, kind of thing, right? And delegation, right? It's like uh, so. One thing that in the last three, four, five years, what that uh, that I think we have done a reasonably good job is uh, getting up with the right team structure and uh, doing the delegation part, kind right. of thing, right? So combination of delegation and the discipline, kind of thing, wo ho jata, right? So I I am a very strict uh, calendar guy. So I have like. Uh, uh, Things calendar is like I get up at like 4:35. I go for a run, come back kind of thing. Then I have spend some time with my son, play play maybe body kind of thing, and then I work. So so us calendar se na wo wo you you'll always figure out like if you want to do something kind of thing, you just put that like you say kya kya chiz hatana hai. So I say that this part I have been doing for this thing. This is the right person who can delegate. If that right person is not there, I find the right person kind of thing. Get him on board. It may take three four months. Do the delegation. What time you have to take that one? So through delegation, discipline. so through discipline and delegation, you've kind of created your own productivity system, uh-huh. which allows you to do everything that matters to you uh-huh. in a deep manner. You are also uh-huh. not really doing shallow work in a lot of things. Uh-huh. Lip service, uh-huh. you are able to do justice uh-huh. to that. Uh-huh. So you have like fantastic platform. You create your own grid shape. You run all these marathons. You know, great business going. So looking ahead, you know what? Are, you know your last note you would have written in December twenty two. So you don't have to share the whole thing here, but what are just some few themes that personally matters to you for next ten or twenty years that you you see yourself investing in a lot of quality time in? So so I'll split that into two. One is what I can, I, I genuinely feel I can contribute kind of thing, and one is more a slightly selfish side of me what I want to gain kind of thing, right? So next twenty thirty years, I would say I strongly feel. That the impact that when I say I like it's Zopsmart overall, at Zopsmart I think we can have a very strong impact on the retail world, right? So uh, continuing to invest on technology, building the strong impact over there, right? Some of them will be incremental kind of thing, and some of it can be like totally like uh, out of the blue kind of thing, right? So next twenty thirty years certainly I uh, I'm quite confident that we should have that impact in the retail, right? So that's the contribution side of that, right? Uh, right? On the selfish side of things, kind of thing, my son is like eleven, almost turning twelve, kind of thing, right? Personally, I would like to spend lots of time with him in the next five years. Like once he goes to college, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, like yeah, I'm not sure I'm, I'll, I'll be able to spend that quality time, kind of thing, right? So at a personal side, like uh, spending time with my son for the uh, next four five years, kind of thing, right? The summarized project that you're talking about, taking it to a shape and not twenty years, but Taking it to a shape wherein I know that I can hand it over to somebody who can take it with a long term view kind of thing. And summarize is not just about the books part, right? Summarize is all about like the content is exploding. And right. our <coughs> even if medical science takes our life for like one fifty years kind of thing, the way the content is growing up, we won't have enough time to consume it. How can I make the content consumption more this thing, right? So that's the selfish side of me, like, and hopefully this will the. The content part can lead to an interesting business at some stage, but my core focus is going to be how do I contribute in the retail kind of thing, and the selfish side is time with the kid, and uh, if something can be done on the content side. Kind of outstanding. Thing. Looks like you have a lot of clarity about you know what you want to do in the coming decades. I think it's been a fascinating conversation for me. I think everything you have done in your journey about you know taking a lot of risk at different stages of your life, uh, cultivating that you know just strong willpower. At some point, you know, getting into fitness through marathons mm-hmm. and maintaining that habit for last, you know, twenty plus years, having done hundred plus marathons, mm-hmm. and your startup journey. I think 
you know what stands out you took multiple shot at it mm-hmm. and every shot you prove you prove something took something from over that moved on you know came back to it eventually you know, committed 10 12 years in you know, building something went through one massive pivot navigated the founder dynamics you know business dynamics and so on and you know eventually at a point where with most people will call success but i think your metric has been you know prioritizing satisfaction way above success Sir. success hoga to bahut bade nahi hoga to bhi koi baat nahi right you know keep doing it sooner or later you know yeah. you will find you know success i think lot of lessons i think from a conversation that will summarize you know as part of the podcast i'm pretty sure lot of listeners will feel motivated inspired you know they will want to follow in your footsteps and probably can shape their own journey any last things you want to share before we wrap no as i said like the only thing i would say is look the best things in life are free so all these things are important kind of thing it will give you satisfaction this thing but always remember best things is always free so just make sure that you have figured out what is the best thing and that will help you a lot in your entrepreneurship and both your personal journey as well so hopefully people will make an introspect on what are the free what things the around you that you are not valuing enough and you can correct we, we, there are it. times when you don't value that right it is right there you don't value it and then it's important to get that and then hopefully some of them will get it outstanding on that will wrap up uh, mukri great to have you awesome. here thank you very much dear all right best of thank you at sparks we aim to bring to you stories of exponential impact we share in depth analysis of what goes behind success stories if you find our conversations interesting you can join us by subscribing to our youtube channel you can also listen to sparks on spotify apple podcast or any other audio platform of your choice if you have any suggestions on who we should invite or what topics we need to cover just let us know in the comments we are always listening looking for ways to improve and keep getting better as we go along